Boom. Welcome to the RTM Podcast Show, Season 3, Episode 3. Don't know, Young Spray, Big Bad Spray. Hey, with my co host. Hi, everyone. Queen Ice Cream, she normally says her name. Cream. <laughs> Don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. Today, very special guest. My family. Come brother on. from another mother. Don't know. You get me? Mm-hmm. Big gang banger stunner. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> True, like, obviously, you know, we always have different guests. I say this too much, so I'm not even going to go through that speech again. Oh, but, but yeah, know. we have different guests, but we thought we'd bring it back to, like, music slash the streets equals Stanner, man. You get me? He's got a great story. I know it personally, but I just want it out to the world. I think he deserves some flowers. I think he's better than 95% of you fucking rappers out there chatting shit. <laughs> um... I think he deserves his flowers yeah. for more than music, just for life in itself, for being able to, what's the navigate. word? I, yeah, navigate, that's my mm-hmm. favourite word. For being able to navigate through life yeah. the way you have, my brother. Yeah. I respect you. And he always gives me that big brother advice. You know, the little brothers that give you the big brother advice. He's the reason why I even bloody kind of kept doing this. He was going to be, you know, he was going to be, um, I first found him for this, you know. Oh, for real? When I first started this, I phoned yeah. this guy, mm. said, yeah, boom. Remember the first episode? No, he was no, going to no. do the first episode. And then he said to me, he's like, you know what, bruv? I don't think you should do it like that. I think you should do it with guests. Mm-hmm. So ultimately, you was actually the reason why I have different guests. See you there. Because we was just going to literally do the podcast. Like, you know, like how them people chatting. do it? Like, no, but just with the same. I was thinking yeah. just getting... Like, just us three every week chatting yeah. what we're chatting. Mm-hmm. That was my thing. That was my vision. But then he was like, no, I think you should get... Have. He said, oh, come on. I'll oh, come on and as a guest. Then he flopped me that week, yeah. <laughs> flopped me. You get what I'm saying? So then it ended up, I got Farron. And then I phoned him for the next episode. I said, yeah, bro, you're going to come through. Then when I told him that the, um, the subject was mental health, he said, you're going mad, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just didn't think that one was. Yeah, he's yeah. like, he's like, mm. fam, when you got a proper subject, when, <laughs> I remember, fam, he's this, yeah, when you got a subject like prison or something, I remember, fam, he was mm. even, the Stormzy and the chip thing was mad for him. He's like, bro, you, you stayed on that for too long. Mm. <laughs> that was too crazy. I remember mm. the reason about coming. Yeah, no, nah, but. But I was always up, coming, I was always coming. Big up for coming to you, man. Come on, you see the Terry episode. Don't know, bro, you always You get me, check out his thing on, um, Delinquent Nation as well. Check yeah. out his interview on that. SP, I see you're asking man's questions. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? But <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Boom. Mm-hmm. We start off with like a quick back ground check. Like, obviously, I know the things. So it's going to be a bit nuts. Yeah. But it's like a max one. You get what I'm saying? So like, where was you born? Where did you grow up? Mm. How was like, do you know what I mean? Whips Cross, bro. I was born in Whips Cross, <coughs> Wolfen Forest. I'm saying I grew up in the whole of Wolfen Forest, mm-hmm. scattering about. Mm. I've, there's not a part of Wolfen Forest that ain't lived. Leighton Stone, Leighton, Wolfen Stone, Chinkford, even Woodford. Do you know what I mean? All about so the that's place. home, bro. Like, do you know what I'm saying? So, that's the background. Uh, everything around Wolfen Forest is where man grew up. The badness, the schools, I went to school there. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, because obviously... Like um, McKenty, I went McKenty. Yeah, 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 I remember. But I remember his older brother was that one of my best friends growing up. Yeah. Okay. Mm. So obviously I know Dean. Do you get what I'm saying? For me, had <laughs> snot in his nose. Do you nah. get what I'm saying? For me, had snot in his nose. But do you know what I mean? It was like, yeah. So how was how was like primary school? Primary school. I went to primary school near Hayland. School primary school full pool. Them times there, I was just. You know what I mean? Regular kid, man. Just a little bit naughty. Nothing too serious. But obviously around them times, as you know, do you know what I'm saying? Life took a little change in primary school times. So I moved I moved to South. I was living in South in Tooting when I was 10. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. For a year with my uncle and that and my cousins and that, you know Nicole? Yeah, obviously. Nicole. Yeah, my cousins and that, man. I was living there. Do you mind um, getting into 
what happened while yeah, you had so, to... Yeah, so when I was 10 in primary school, living in Waltham Forest, mm-hmm. obviously, like, my parents, they passed away. So sorry to hear say, that. No, 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 come yeah. on, thank you. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, they passed away when I was young, about 10. And, obviously, that made me and my siblings... We got separated, like you know, obviously. Yeah, come on. And that. That's what I'm saying. So it's hard for me to even do this interview. That's what no, I'm saying. Because I don't want to ask certain things. Certain questions. Because no, I know, no. you know what I mean? It's hard no, for me. But I've spoken these things. Yeah, yeah, of course. Already, but yeah. it's me, yeah. in it, bro. You get <clears throat> what I'm saying? The man had to live it with Raymond as well. Mm. So it's, you know what I mean? Obviously, I don't, this, is the, this is the thing, innit? Mm. I do a lot of these, these interviews, yeah. a few anyway. Mm. And I'm always going to tell it from my perspective. Mm. Yeah. But sometimes I forget that my brother, my sisters, they had their own little experience as well, you get what I'm mm-hmm. trying to say? So it was a bit different. Where do you, are you the oldest middle? Uh, no, so I got my, my brother and my, I got a younger sister, so I'm third. You're third? Yeah, so right. older brother and older sister and a younger sister, so I'm third. And um, yeah, so we had little bits of different Jade experience. Jade and Gems. When the situation happened. Jade and Gemma. Yeah, Gemma, Jade, Raymond, innit? Like, mm. Do you know what I'm the, saying? Um, Randy. Sorry to ask, but did you did your pa- both parents pass at the same time? No, a year apart. So my okay. mum passed first, and then my dad passed okay. a year later. Right, so, and then that's when you lot got. Yeah, so okay. we got separated. No, from when um, my mum passed, my dad was a bit ill mm-hmm. around the time, so mm-hmm. he went to Jamaica. So he was like, I got an uncle over there. You know them uncles that Come the on. herbal man. You get me? Mm-hmm. So my dad went over there. So why when he went over there? We kind of split up a bit, you know what I mean? Couple of um my brother went with one aunt, my sister went with one aunt, my other sister went with one aunt, and I went with my uncles up in South. You get me? For me, like that was a big move. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. A big change in my life. Like I'm that's it. I'm all I know is what I know. But at the same time, me and my uncle them we were close. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it was a bit of a holiday. Does that make sense? Like, mm-hmm. so I'm up there, but I got kicked out of the primary school straight away. I went to the secondary school. I got kicked out of the secondary school. <laughs> like, it was just like yeah, I was wanted to be back. Shit. I wanted to be back in East, close to my bar, my brother, and that in it. Mm-hmm. So I was doing a lot of rebellion against whatever was going on. I wouldn't say, do you know what I mean? I was terrible, like just bad, 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 just a bit naughty. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. You know, it was levels, but yeah, that was the the beginning stages. I would say into the streets. What led you into the streets? Into the streets. streets. Do you get what I'm saying? That's what I would say around them times there. Because before that, we weren't in the streets. Do you well, know what, I'm saying? what I would say to that is that that's more than a reason still mm. to turn to the streets. Do you get what I'm saying? You got people out here turning into the streets but way less than that do you get what I'm saying thinking it's fun it's not fun exactly. do you get what I'm saying this is something this is life led man there do you get what I'm mm-hmm. trying to say mm-hmm. like, yeah. do you know what I mean and to be fair big up Raymond as well my bridging but I'm saying like everyone like you say it impacts everyone differently isn't it? Yeah. and he was the youngest like I'm the youngest you're always gonna be the maddest boy do you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying mm-hmm. you're always gonna be the maddest for and some it, reason, do you get what I'm saying? Sounds middle like child, middle also, child, they, they come yeah. You know no, I mean? but you're the youngest <coughs> boy. Mm. And then, um, even you know I mean? the fact that you was Always trying to run to go and see your your, your siblings, yeah, I used it's to like do a that. double loss as well. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Because then you got separated from like your immediate, like mm. you know, it was what I like mean? that. Your yeah, brothers I used to run away. I used to run yeah. at the age of bro, 10, 11. Mm-hmm. I used to run, jump on the train. Do you know what I'm saying? From two in to Walthamstow. Go to my nans, to my aunts, just pop up somewhere. Mm. Like, what was he done? It's right, just cut. Randomly. Yeah. <laughs> Random. Everyone's about to have dinner. Out the door. God. Gone. Just I don't want to be here, innit? Like, no disrespect to where <coughs> I was. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, I just wanted to be close to my bro and my sisters. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, I came back. So mm. I've got kicked. I've, I've just said, I've gone south. Mm. That's it. I'm too much in the south now because you've been kicked out of every school. I'm disrupting what's going on in the South now. So I've got to come back to East, to the next uncles. Get me? I've gone Newham. Stratford. Maryland. Man. I went to a school called Brampton. <sighs> didn't last. No, 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 I'm lying. I'm lying. It didn't go that way. I went to my aunt's first, and I went to McKenney. 
Got kicked out of McKinney, then I went to my uncle's and this is what I'm saying, this is how much I was bouncing about. Mm-hmm. Like, I even got the timeline right, bro. <laughs> Because I was just a youth man. <laughs> I ain't even got the timeline right. I was here, I was there, I was yeah, everywhere. Yeah, no, for real. Yeah, yeah. now come on. For real, t- I, I, bro, I'll come go on, over man. this in my head. Like, mm. Mm. How old was I when I was there then? Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. So I went from my aunties to my uncles in um, Stratford. So my, and in Stratford, I got kicked out again. Then I went back to McKinney. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And by then, I'm in the streets now, innit? Mm. Like, I'm in. My older cousins are in. Mm. Do you know what I mean? It's going on. So I was back in Wolfen Forest. I had a little stage where I was living with my granddad. Obviously, he was getting old. I was being bad. I weren't in school. Couldn't take care of me. So it was, I went through a little foster care stage. Do you mm. know what I'm saying? Mm. Right. Yeah, so I went through a foster care stage. What was that like? That was... Because uh, how I am... That was horrible because I can't, I'm not comfortable around people. You got what I'm saying? That's mm-hmm. just me. Yeah. Like, if you're not family, at them times when I was young, I couldn't adapt. So, even though these people were lovely people, like, I loved them with all my heart. Do you know what I'm saying? They made me feel like I was, I was, do you know what I'm saying? Part One of them. Yeah. Part of them. Yeah. I, st- I couldn't. Get with it. Couldn't get with it. I couldn't understand because my, you know, bro, yeah. my family's big. Yeah. So I'm thinking, why am I here? Mm. It's not making sense. I could be, I've got so many places. Too much places I can be. Do you get what I'm saying? But I, but now when I look at it, I was, I couldn't, I was uncontrollable. Do you get what I'm saying? I was hard. Pe- no one had the skills to say, like, can we actually <laughs> deal with Corridon, it? Though. Do you feel like, like all Corridon? Do you get what I'm saying? Corridon. Who could deal with Corridon? Mm. Yeah. Uh, that's another one of my one cousins. Of cousins. Talking about. Okay. Yeah, Corridon. You get what I'm trying to say? Do you feel so, like all this time, like you was just grieving? Yeah, obviously, mm. a pu- uh, uh, there was a big part of that. Do you know what I'm saying? Obviously, like I don't know. I can only say that there's certain things, like I'm not ever gonna get over. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's it. I I, I try to, mm-hmm. but you know I'm not gonna get over losing my mom or my dad. That's it. Like mm. I can deal with it, cope with it, but in re- in reality, man's not getting over that. Mm. Yeah. And I hate when people, you know what I'm saying? I hate when people try and say things like, oh, you need to get over this, or you do, why do not I even get, get over it? No, but, no, but yeah, why do I need mean. to get over it? I know what you mean. Why? It's like it, I get it sometimes with my um I don't know, because like say on my WhatsApp picture, it's like being my mum mm. since she mm. died. Mm. And then I get uh you need to like move on, like you need to but it's like, like this I is get, my mum picture get, though. But no, but no, but I'm saying I've moved on. No, but I get I've moved publicly. On. No, but Do you get what I'm saying? I've moved on, but can't I have my mum's picture? But because yeah. publicly, no, no, we've got to understand this publicly, yeah. Mm. Yeah. I can understand that, like, for instance, interviews like this, mm. yeah. that other people might say, like, oh, we've heard the story. Do you get what I'm saying? We've heard mm. it. We kind of like what's next? So mm. I can get that side of things when they might feel like you're not over it. Like I'm not over it. Mm. But I can get it where it's like we don't want to keep talking about it. Mm-mm-mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do get that side of things. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. When people kind of want you to move on because everyone got a sad story, innit? Mm. And this is the truth. Everyone's got something that they're going through. We might have different levels of it, but that's why I understand sometimes where it's like just kind of not let go, mm. but rise up, innit? Yeah. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Show that it, it, it what it made you was not negative, innit? Yeah. You know what I mean? And yeah, it didn't have to define you. Yeah, it doesn't define, define me. you. Like, it's still your story, though. Yeah, exactly. Do you know what I mean? Exactly. So yeah, I want to share it. Do you get what I'm saying? Do you can't leave right it because it's still, it's your story. Exactly. Do you understand? And there's going to be people that it touch. There's going to be people that can relate. Mm-hmm. There could be people that went through the um, foster system just like, do you understand what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Exactly, so exactly. I feel like, there is certain times when you need to talk. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And yeah. to understand people, some you have to do a bit of back. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Hundred percent. So, I, so I, I did. I did it go there when you started with your badness. All right. So because that was like second. So obviously, times. yeah. So secondary school times, I start to get kicked out of school. There's nothing to do in it. Mm. So what are you doing? You got kicked out of school. I went to the Lee Green unit. Yeah. It lasted five days. Five days, <laughs> that's it. The foster woman was mad at me. Like, five days, Dean. Do you know what I'm saying? It was like, yeah. So that was it. What are you going to do within the daytime on the roads? My bridge was hanging around on Boundary. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? And you know what Boundary was like around 2000 and... 
99, 2000, mm. them times there. Do you know what I'm saying? So I was hanging around on Boundary Estate in Walthamstow. I was I was committing a lot of crime. Every day was crime. Like, I was feeding and clothing myself from them ages. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. 15. So that's all I kind of knew. Not to say that I'd never, like, went with my uncles on no one and gone and tried a little bit of labouring and... I did mm. all of that, bro. I tried mm. all that. Worked in the barbers. I did all of this. But, yeah, the streets kind of took over around those ages. Got nicked. Cars. Nicking cars. Robberies and all that. Ended up in prison. Felt them. What was that for? That was for a robbery. That was the first time? That was the first time. Did you go solo? No, I went... Um... um they changed Swallow did from the juvenile. It wasn't Swallow, it was Curly, I think, was the induction wing. Curly was Fraggle wing. No, nah, it wasn't Fraggle <laughs> No, nah, when I was in Felton, Curly was Fraggle wing. It was fraggle induction wing. wing. It was induction wing at a certain stage. And then from induction wing, I went to, I think, J wing. Mm. J wing and Grebe. Yeah, <laughs> Grebe. so I went on those few wings. Then I've come out for a month. I was only out for four weeks. And then I went back for actual, like, proper robbery mm. and got three years. Uh. I got three years that time, so I was in for 18 months, whatever. Mm, mm, mm. No, actually, I got tag, so 16 months. And that didn't set close. I was going to say, how did that affect you? <sighs> it didn't really. Being that in the system bad. from the gate, yeah. Them times yeah. I was really bad. I went hunter come. I linked up with a lot of men that I know to this day. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? And it was just... Like, I, I keep saying, I'm not one of them people I would consider myself as someone that was terrible. Mm -hmm. That's just me speaking from my personal. Other people might have a, a different opinion in it, but yeah, I wasn't. I wasn't terrible. Terrible. I was just getting into little bits of badness, and obviously, the area I was hanging around by then was I was I was more in Leighton them times. Mm. Do you get know what I'm saying? So where I'm in Leighton, I'm in Beaumont. Like it was just that's guns and knives now, isn't it? It's violence, <laughs> a gang war. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> and for me and my age group. Mm. Like my age group, we was taking we was taking on our own little roles, and I was definitely like, do you know what I mean? Yeah, One of the most. Yeah, your name and Ibby's was calling. Yeah, do you know what I'm saying? Because mm. we, we were just we're up for it. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. We're on whatever was was on. I didn't feel like I had a lot to lose. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? I feel like you had no one to answer to. Yeah, I had no one to answer to. It was like that. I had mm. no one to answer to. I was just doing what I'm doing. Yeah, it sounded like you had a problem, like you didn't like authority neither. Yeah, no authority. There was no order in the mm. area that I come from. I can't, mm. even to this day, I don't know who, there was no boss. Mm. There was no, like, this one's the boss and you lot stop doing this. And mm. th Do you know what I'm saying? It was just everyone all for all. Yeah, mm. do what you want. Yeah, just do what you want. And I kind of liked that. I, I kind of like that, but it wasn't good for me. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? If you look around every other area, there's order. Yeah. That there was none there. Mm. <laughs> Even like with Aggie's thing, everything was set up properly. Yeah, they had, had a proper order. So when after the three years, what happened then? So after the three years, I've come out. I think I tried a little working in the barbershop. My my, my cousin, um, my cousin at a barbershop on Forest Road, highly blessed. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah? The Apple's thing. Yeah, come on. Mm. So I was working in there for a small period. So I tried, but you worked in Apple Shop. Yeah, must have been in jail. Bilal worked there as well. Yeah. So we was working there together. I was there when Bilal was there. So mm -hmm. we was working, <laughs> trying to trim up hair and do all of that. But at the same time, you know, you got your bridgings coming in. It's just, yeah. just turning it into the hood. Do you know what I'm saying? And I don't want to really be here. Yeah. Because it's going on outside. Like, what? <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? It's really going off. So I ended up like, just, you get me? It's not turning up. Yeah. But my cousin put a lot of trust into me. And these, these are the things. Just being honest. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, that's true. But my cousin pop up like, what? You can cut hair. Get here. And I like to cut hair in prison. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> and he was like, get here now, man. I heard you can cut hair. Get here, man. You got a job. You know what I mean? It's making money and that. So it was good for me. Mm. Like, them foundations that, that he taught me around them times, I carry with me now. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? I've got mm -hmm. that work ethic. I can work, bro. Yeah. Don't ever get interested. Food's yeah. got to be on the plate. I yeah. can go and do that. Mm. So I, I, I respect my cousin always for that. No, I'll pick him up. Do you know what I mean? Because you've got a lot of people yeah. like that. He still yeah. does all that. He still mm. cuts hair. He's a champion yeah. barber. You know that. Yeah, come on. 
Yeah. Where's your people best. from? Jamaica. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But my my mum's side of the family, my granddad's from Senegal. Okay. Gambia. Yeah. Okay. So, but yeah, my dad's side. Yeah. Get me yard. So. That's the main influence. There's, mm-hmm. But I'm close with both sides both of my sides. family. That's strongly. good. Mm. That's like, good. My mum's side and my dad's side, yeah. they, they, they got a huge part in my life. But yeah, Joe, it just from there, streets. Yeah, so you left the barber. You left the. Left bar- there, yeah. gone on the roads, start carrying gun and knife and get myself involved in all the pickles that was going on with my. Team, mm-hmm. do you get what I'm trying to say? Mm. Like that's it. That we're one in it. So we was taking on. You know what I'm saying. Plus, I got a lot of cousins, and they was getting in their own things. Mm. And I just want to defend everyone and everything. Mm. So, cut a long story short, I end up flipping, getting in um, shoot out, whatever you want to call it, beat out of the, the police, and I went Joe IPP, bam, close up. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. Eight, I was in there for eight years. Oh my So gosh. that was like, for me, the kind of main event. Do you know what I mean? Up bursting so effect, yeah, I was going to say, Louis, you have to get into it a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to yeah. get into yeah. it. Yeah. So, you end up bursting right, effect, so that's right. what I'm saying. So this gang really Respect though, big up for that though. Yeah. Yeah. Listen no, to big this up for guy. that for bursting the fence. No, no, come, come on, bro. on. Are you in that it's not, it's not, this is what I'm saying, mm. bro. This, I mm. don't like that. Yeah, 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 mm. come on. Yeah, I spudded you and all that. Yeah, I'm taking on, back yeah. the spud, I'm taking it it's back. It's gone, you, you spudded it already. <laughs> no, but, but the thing on. is, I'm not proud of that. No, no, you no, can't no, be proud I get, of it. No, no, I get, I get the the street mentality of we hate the police. You know, come on, you got him. But How did you get him? It wasn't, that was, that's not my mentality. How did you get him? Yeah, and I'm going to say to you now that it wasn't even... An intention then. Yeah, no, come on. It's like, oh, I'm going out, I'm going to shoot police. <coughs> do you know what I'm saying? I'm not. Yeah. Come on, I'm you know I know the thing, I'm just I'm getting not, mad. I'm not I'm like just getting mad. Do you know what I'm yeah. saying? So, yeah. I, and I don't want a, anyone to get that image of me. Yeah. So, right, I'm carrying guns, I'm in that last door, we've got gang-related arguments. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm not yeah. going to say that these gang-related arguments ain't si- weren't serious, because they were, but at the same time, we knew these people, do you know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. there was love. Mm. There was history and love within within the arguments. Right. So, you know what I mean? It, it was just a lot of back and forth bullshit. So, on the day in question when I end up shooting this police officer, I'm basically on surveillance through robberies and just gang activity that they're surveying the team for. Do you know what I'm saying? Right, okay. But I happen to be the main subject on this day or, or the days leading up to the event. So I'm being followed, which I'm not aware of. Mm. Mm. So that day they chose they were going to be following you? Yeah, yeah. Imagine that. that. Yeah. Okay, but cool. they was following me the day before and okay, that. Cool, but cool. on this day, obviously, yeah, yeah, yeah. events happened. Yeah. All them days they was following me, nothing's happened. Right. So on the day in question, wherever they've come, um, they're following me. I've gone, linked my brethren's, having a usual day. Mm. You know what I mean? Just regular, everything's just normal. I've not got nothing on me anyway. So we're driving around in convoys. We're doing all that sort of stuff. Gone to the barbers, got to the barbers, and then a little incidents happened. Mm. But when that incidents happened at the barbers, like we're not on surveillance because we've missed. We've by driving around all day, they've lost us. Mm. But you know how they move. They put different vehicles in different known locations yeah. that you go to. <laughs> yeah, they know you're gonna right. See you so them out. so mm. there's incident one that's happened at the barbers where pulled up at the barbers. And there's other people at the barbers that we're not getting along with, mm-hmm. right? But while, but the police or surveillance have not picked up on this mm. incident. But while that's going on, I've flown to get my thing. Mm. Two minutes away from the barbers, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So right. I've got that. But where I've gone to get it, surveillance is there Man. where I go to yeah, get yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. They don't really... know I've gone to get that, mm. but they know I go they're there. They're back onto you now. They're back onto me. So I've gone there, got it, come. Now they're following me. Which I don't know. Whatever, I got into whatever pickle at the barbers. Ended up discharging one or whatever you want to call it, firing a shot. And then... So it's gone off in the barber shop? No, not in the barbers. It's gone around the corner. Okay, So I've come back. I've gone and got my thing. I've come back to the barber shop. Mm -hmm. I've gone around the corner, parked Mm -hmm. the car, jumped out. And then then it's gone off. And then at that time is when I've realised... 
Wait, there, there's, is this square then? Fed. But my, my brethren that I was with, yeah, are telling me that these other youths are shouting, like, yo, feds. Do you get what I'm saying? But I'm blank, bro. Like, I'm just, what, they're there? Clap. And then after the first shot is when I'm thinking, huh? Like, the reaction weren't right. Mm -hmm. Like, you lot are supposed to beat back. <laughs> but it's not come back. Mm. So it's like, huh? Everyone's running to the cars, but I've just felt a, a warm feeling come over yeah. me. And then I've just remembered yesterday and the day before, and I thought, oh, you know what? I might be on Obo, you know? And then this car's come round. Like a silver seat. So was you feel sorry to cut in the middle so, of it, yeah, but was I, you so I'm was you like, feeling funny then? So did you did you feel like there was something? Yeah, in the so air? when I fired one, obviously I'm, I I thought that there was, these youths were gonna fire back. No, I meant like with the police up watching you. Oh, like, did you feel like there was something was gonna happen? Yeah. So did. before this day, mm. there was little things that was going on. There mm. was little times when I'd seen the car twice. Mm -hmm. I'd phone my cousin like, well, "What was the plate of that car again?" And do you remember, mm -hmm. do you remember this? And little things. People were getting From nicked. The car. People car were getting nicked before car. I got before this incident. A couple oh, men have been nicked. Even believe. Go back to the car from this. What yeah, car? Come right. <laughs> right. right. So obviously, yeah. Right. So right. You know, Camel right. Road, yeah. Mm. This is where it's happened. Cannell Road, Garvey's mm. barber shop. Mm. That Garvey's. Yeah. So there's a side road off of that road. And that's where I was parked. So I'm parked on that road. A couple people, whatever. I've jumped out. I've beat it down the road. I've gone back to my car. And then a seat has come round. I don't know if it's a seat, but it was a seat. Silver seat has come round and kind of blocked all our cars in the way it's kind of pulled in. Mm. But that's when everything's flashed on me, like, oh my gosh, surveillance, oh boy. Everything's remembered. Remember before I'm just angry. You know when yeah. you're angry, yeah. mm -hmm. you're just blank out. Don't forget you're on Obo. You forget that you just, what has gone on yesterday. You forget all of these. Mm -hmm. You forget that I forgot my, I even forgot that my baby mum was nine months pregnant. Man. Mm -hmm. That's how deep the streets had me, where you're not thinking, bro. There's no think. That split second, if I would have took one Second to just think, I wouldn't have done nothing. Yeah. Mm. Because I'm not a fool, but I didn't think. So you're a fool when you don't think. So that's what happened. I didn't think. Quick just run, anger. grab the thing, and let's get it popping. So I've ran, grabbed it, come, bam. See it's come round. But it's like the, the guy in the car's on me. I'm mm. thinking, why is he on me? Like there's a few of us out of the car, but he seems like he's on me a bit. But I'm hiding around my car. And he's pulled out some spray. And he's kind of spread it towards me. But I haven't got a hood on. I've had like a, um, a jacket with a collar mm -hmm. and just a baseball cap. So I've kind of like pulled it over my face and I've run. But as I've run, sh 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 cars are pulling up now, innit? Mm -hmm. CID. Ah, get out. But I've not beat at these first guys that have jumped out. I've kind of just waved at them. Like, move, move. And then I've run. I've kept running. And I'm running. Another car is reversing down the road. Mm. Trying to lick me down. Do you get what I'm saying? I'm in the road. It's the way it's coming. It's it's I can do you know what I'm saying? But I've jumped in the road and I've beat the thing, so, and obviously that's the shot. It's gone through and hit the officer. But I'm still not aware of this. Mm. Yeah? That is anyone's been here. I just know that the window's gone out in the car. I've run, kept running, getting chased by another car. I'm in panic mode. Like I wasn't composed, I wasn't thinking. Do you know what I'm saying? It just wasn't like I'd been through a million of these events. Mm. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? This was fresh. Like, so, obviously, I'm just doing silliness, bro, in mm. the panic. Like, I'm still, like, firing and just making it worse every step I take. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But luckily, no one else got hit. After that, that shot that went through the car, I Where got did away. did get hit? He got it in his shoulder. So he was reversing. As I said, that car was reversing. I'm trying to hit me. Mm. He was reversing up down the road and he um, he had his arm over the passenger seat. Mm -hmm. So while he's reversing, it's come through the back side window, hit him in his shoulder and come out the top of his arm. No, can't hit him in his arm, come out the top of his shoulder. Mm -hmm. Like if he hadn't had his arm up there, then maybe it would have missed him or hit him somewhere else. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah. But yeah, that's where he got hit. And... Um, I wasn't aware of it at the time because, like I said, I didn't, I didn't aim at somebody. So you got away that day, though, yeah? Got away that day. Bad boy. Yeah, so got away that day and it's come on the news. Yeah, what was going through your head? When, when... 
just everything straight away everything you know like yeah, that everything man, just man. remembered i remembered everything yeah. straight away like oh my gosh if you would have thought about this then <laughs> you know what i'm saying it's too late now so i'm thinking like cool i'm thinking about my baby mom's pregnant yeah you know what i mean my son did this happen on the 27th my son was born on the 29th <sighs> <Mm-mm>. oh, <laughs> do you understand what i'm saying yeah. to you yeah it's police at the hospital in the ward and yeah. like, you can't come so forget that already <laughs> And my first son, I was not I was in prison for his birth. Mm-hmm. So this was important to me, yeah. and I still effed it up. So all of these things are going through my mm-hmm. head like, shit. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? So, but at the same time, houses are getting raided, family are panicking. Everyone. I haven't got a phone, I can't communicate with everyone. The man, them are giving me information like, bro, it's mad. Do you know what I'm saying? So... After three days, I got arrested in um, Wanted Flats. <laughs> mm. That was funny still. I got nicked in Wanted Flats and gone to jail. What was Go. your thought process? What do you mean? When you first, when you first land on the wing and you know, say, yo, it's they like got you're me. Done. I first madness. went to Chelmsford. I first mm. went to Chelmsford, so I was seeing regular faces like, ah. Bro, what's going on? What's happening? I'm just still in kind of shock myself. <laughs> still in a little bit of shock, like, bro, this is like, bro, I don't even know. Yeah. But at the one. same time, yeah. I knew I had one. a little bit of legs. I don't know what it was. Yeah. I just, you know, when you just got a feeling like you never this, got caught on the day, yeah. I never got caught on legs. the day. That's yeah. legs. Like, there's legs. That's legs. How was they handling you though when they got you? So that there was a, like, there was kind of like good cop, bad cop kind of. Okay. They trying to play that, but it wasn't beating me up or nothing like that. Obviously, okay. they was keeping it as firm as they can. They didn't want no more shots? No, it wasn't like that sort of vibe. It was <laughs> okay, just like, well, okay, well, I okay, felt well. like they felt like mm-hmm. we got him red-handed. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. Like, you're banged to that, yeah. we, don't need to, we don't even need to because, mm. look, we got, like, around 11 police officers that was on the scene. Mm-hmm. Mm. Do you know what I mean? On the surveillance unit. Like, we was all debriefed this morning. Yeah. We went to before we even left out. We was debriefed on Dean Stanbury, subject one. That's it. We know his face in our car. We've got his picture in our car for the last eleven days. Yeah, they must have thought. What's <laughs> the we know him. That? Do you got what I'm saying? So they was like, <laughs> we've got this wrapped, but they didn't. Because when they come down to like all their statements and yeah. ID parades and all that, they was effing up. Fuck it up. So it was mm-hmm. like, huh? You know, this is not. Do you know what I'm saying? But mm-hmm. I had to mm-hmm. wait for about six months before all my paperwork stomach start coming through. Mm. Right. So I can see everything like, right, how are we going to fight this case? Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Because mm. there was a point where you might have to go guilty. Yeah, definitely. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> you might have to just go guilty. And at that point, yeah, it was horrible still. Because mm. I was thinking, that's 25, bro. Mm. Or something along those lines is what my solicitor is saying, like... You're gonna look at this as a lot of years for what you've done, but I'm thinking, can't be. This can't be right. So when the paperwork's all come through and they're like making it seem like these officers are all kind of ganged together and given identical statements. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Mm. That's what they do a lot. They compare yeah, notes. Come on, come on. Do you get what I mean? So when they compare notes and that, I thought like right, there's a fighting chance. So I started fighting it a bit. Went through the long trial. You know what I'm saying? And the AMs, because it was originally attempted murder times three, I got not guilty for all the attempted murders. Break. So mm-hmm. that's what sa- that's what saved me. But I got found guilty for the wounding, mm-hmm. GBH wounding, and the firearm. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So right. they pieced the story together and they've said, you have done this, mm-hmm. but you're not trying to kill nobody. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You just... Going mad. Going yeah, mad. Yeah, yeah. And that was like, thank God that I didn't mm. jump up mm. and just yeah. go guilty, guilty. Yeah. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Because I knew <laughs> yeah. I was guilty, mm. but it's not that clean cut. Mm. Mm. Like, I'm not guilty of what you're telling me. No, I'm, I'm, not. Not. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. So it's fair. Yeah, I'm not guilty of that. I'm not guilty of that. that. Like, what? I'm not that sort <laughs> of madman. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The, the ah, and they'll be in shock. Like, the people that knew me, like, they was in shock. Mm. Was you in shock? <laughs> yes. This is what I'm saying to you. He know me. He'd be like, what? <laughs> what did he do? Yeah. Who's Dean? Nah. Not because you don't know that I'm on the roads, but it's, it's just too like, much. nah, it's too, too much. much. He's too not going to do that. Yeah, it's just, too much. And like I said, it's it wasn't too random, much. it was just random. So it's too much. Yeah. I feel genuinely, man, I just feel so blessed, yeah, mm-hmm. that, that, get me, 
Yeah, these yeah. situations, come on. I feel like they they do come out. They even them they balance themselves out. Yeah, do you know what I'm saying? So, the stage I'm at now, but I just can't like it'll be a disrespect to life for my blessings if I continue to take the risk I and play that. with that fire. Do you know what I mean? Because a lot of other people are not going to be that fortunate. Well, you've got a life sentence, bro. Basically, it's, n- it's basic, but it's not. It's just. You know what I mean, so, it's just cut before the. So what did they give you? They gave me six years IPP. Right. So I ended up serving eight years. That's the main subject today, by the way. IPP. IPP. Yeah. yeah. So I made, I'm, I'm, I ended up serving eight years. Um, and yeah, obviously I'm still on license now. They say that after 10 years of being released, you can apply for it to be demolished. Do you know what I mean? Otherwise it's a 99 year license you're, 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 gonna, you're serving. At any time you can be recalled for silly incidents, isn't it? It's mm-hmm. horrible. Do you know what I mean? It's horrible. But still, do you know what I'm saying? Uh, so how was that? How did you feel hearing that? Yeah. Well, was you happy with that? IPP. Yeah, because hey, remember, it was fresh, so it's like you don't I didn't really, really know. know. You understand? I was going to say, did you, you understand what IPP I did a, meant yeah, I didn't at the understand time? Yeah, what it meant. I didn't mm. understand what it meant, but they were obviously being in the system, there was a lot of people that was going through the same thing and they was educating themselves on it and Slizzard was trying to tell me about it. So I was trying to learn things. But if I'm honest, at that time, the IPP didn't really bother me. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? I just wanted to know like how long am I getting? When you coming out. Do you know what I'm saying? Like when can I possibly be out? Mm. Like my probation officer, I don't know if you did you used to have Wolf and Stoke probation and yeah, 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 yeah. I had a guy called um Michael man. Proper. Do you know what I mean? Rasta man. Yeah. He's proper. I, like, these are the, what I'm saying. Along yeah, my Michael. journey, I've been blessed. Yeah. Because you can get With it. With the right it, people. It, it, this is what I'm saying, it can go wrong. Mm. And my man just look at me like I was his family. Oh, like, no. like I, you could be my nephew. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? I looked at him like you could be my uncle. Do you know what I'm saying? So we yeah. when he's telling me something, I'm listening. Mm. He's saying, but I just mm. Just cool, cool, you get what I'm yeah. saying? Like, like, I know you don't want to do all this sort of stuff or mm-hmm. be a part of this life, but I can see in your eyes that you're on it if you have to. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's who I was. And anyway, along the journey of the, the, the prison sentence, I just changed, man. I just started to grow. Do you know what I'm saying? I started okay. to grow into a man this time. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? And my, my two sons are outside, they're growing. Do you know what I'm saying? And I'm mm. missing my family now mm. more than ever. And I'm looking at life yeah. and saying, but, and even with the music, bro, before I went to jail this time, mm. I, it's like I left a mixtape, like a half piece together mixtape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you've everyone done, was done a couple of tunes with Esco as well, RIP. Exactly. All of those mm. RIP Esco, man. So all of those things there kind of just give me a path. Like, bro, it, it, you've got, stuff to look forward to mm-hmm. do you know what I mean you've got it ain't just how you saw it like yeah. oh, I've had oh, my life's been hard and oh, that's it it's real mm-hmm. enough mm-hmm. you know what I mean because when I was young that was my mentality <coughs> like I got nothing to lose mm-hmm. you know what I mean mum daddy's gone that's it I don't care mm-hmm. I'm mm-hmm. Tell me nothing do you know what I'm saying but in all reality bro do you know what I'm saying it's, it's not that you got to live your life right so yeah. these things that I went through on the streets and that they molded me into the man I am today. You get what I'm saying? So I'd, I wouldn't say that there's no regrets. Mm-mm. Do you know what I'm saying? That's what no being Aggie was saying. Even though there's victims in these situations, do you know what I'm saying? Unfortunately, for me, it's like a lot of these things had to. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? For to, be, to reach yeah. a certain point. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, um, how was that sentence, man? That sentence, that sentence, I did sentence in about six jails. Mm. I know you're doing music with Titch as well. Yeah, that's in Swellside. Mm. So when I was in Swellside, I met Titch in Belmarsh. Mm-hmm. We both was in Swellside. Crazy. And, yeah, Crazy Titch, man. Big up Crazy Titch. And he's a music yeah. man. Like, yeah. just in spirit. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, he's just musically mm. always that's on the him. landing. He's going to be, that's it. He's going to be rapping yeah. in his in his conversation. He's, you know what I'm saying? And I'm like that. So we just clicked straight away. And um, we started making music in the cells and stuff like that. That sentence there, I put out a mixtape mm-hmm. at that time as well. Yeah. Porridge. You know what I'm saying? 
And that kind of gave me more energy to be like, okay, like you can do, you can be, be writing while you're in here, so you can come out mm. and make your a tea. project, yeah, and do all of that. And so yeah, that sentence, I went through that process. I went swell side, I went, I left in decap, home leaves town visits. Mm. Went through that, went through what everyone went to, yeah. getting, um, what they call it, a mitigating you back into the yeah. community. Yeah, do you know what I'm saying? How did you feel ticket. when you got I worked my ticket? How did you feel that first time when you came out? Uh, listen, seriously, the first time was just so nice. Like, yeah. I had a lot of anxiety as well, because you can get that as well. Yeah, you know, come on. Prison can, yeah. can give you some things you never knew you even had. <laughs> yeah. Like, mm. what? Mm. Anxiety? Talking about <laughs> yeah. mm. anxiety. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You got it, bro. You got it, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. See that little yeah. shit? Yeah. That's anxiety, yeah. bro. Yeah. Right, like, what where am I going? Mm. So, yeah. Mm. I had a little bit of anxiety, so... Do you know what I'm saying? I've been away for a long time. My kids were grown. Obviously, throughout my sentence, they'd I'd seen them on visits and that. Do you know oh, unless I was on nice. far, yeah. far away. Yeah, yeah. But that was my main focus. Yeah. Was just trying to be that person. And music, I feel like if 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 I ever kind of fell back into the streets a bit, I feel like I'm not gonna blame music, but that's what kind of Keep me around it a bit. Do you know mm, what I'm saying? Mm, mm. Like, that's the truth. Because I'm yeah, going yeah. to the hood. I went straight back to the hood. I'm doing mixtapes, so I'm causing, recording my videos. I'm recording it on the block. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And then I'm remembering, I'm somebody here. Do you know what I'm saying? You're feeling yeah. great again. So, bro, I had a little slip-ups when I came out as well. Like, right. by being back on the roads, on the block, music videos, and living that that life, that rapper life, mm. to a bit. Do you know what I'm saying? I fell back into it again. Do you know what I'm saying? So I went, I got recalled. Did you? For an incident in, yeah. it, I think it was the end of 2007. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm, madness. Like, and it was just like, oh, the disappointment for everyone else, I could see, I could feel it this time. Mm. Like, oh, before it was like, He's been through so much. Yeah, it's yeah, expected. This yeah. time it was like, nah, brother, you're taking a piss. Yeah. Mm. What, are you, what are you doing? Yeah. Mm. Like, and I was even thinking, but the thing is, I didn't even actually commit offence. But you see, when you put yourself in the mix, going, you bring yourself back to the hood, you got to expect these things. So I tell everyone, the youth, them and that, mm -hmm. like, you can't always jump up like, it wasn't me, I didn't do nothing. Yeah. Mm. Don't, but you're there. It's up to you, bro. It comes with it. That's it. It's mm -hmm. tough. And, and that's, I feel I went through a bit of that, mm -hmm. that time there that made me think about, and then I got banned. After that recall, they just banned me and said, you know, you can't go back to the hood. Mm. So I got banned and I feel like being banned saved me as well. Mm. Yeah. Helped you. Helped me, but I didn't know how to pattern. I had to adapt. Cause I'm thinking, all I know is the hood and Mm. How I make money and just ran this and I know him and the weed man and do, do, mm. little things like that. Mm -hmm. It's serious. And I had to readapt in a different area and just. But it's mad because it's a lonely, it's a lonely um, path, yeah? But prison kind of helps you along that path. This is what I'm saying, Because you're used yeah. to being lonely. Exactly. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Because that's what's helped me sometimes. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? When yeah. I've got to do my own thing. Yeah, but I've always been, I've always kind of been like that. I've had those sort of stages, like I said, when I went through a lot of hostile periods, mm. a lot of foster care periods. Do you know what I'm saying? So even before I went to jail, I kind of had mm. that. Detachment. I like my own space. Yeah. Like, I can cook my own food. Mm -hmm. By the time I was whatever. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm patting up a spag bowl. Mm. <laughs> I'm thinking, what's Real this guy quick. doing all of that at that yeah. age? Yeah, bro, I'm doing, I'm washing my clothes and going long drip, bro. I'm 6'15. I'm 15. Now yeah. I'm driving yeah. stolen cars yeah. back over. <laughs> 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 you know what I'm saying? I was proper independent. So, yeah. that side of things, I've never kind of needed like a whole, yeah. you know what I mean? Gang and people need like. to remember that as well. Like, humans, they, they will surprise their own self just how adaptable that you can be do you understand mm, what i'm saying if you're yeah. put in a situation and don't think that you're always the like the center of because life just goes on like you know like you feel like it's mm. going to be different if you're not there mm. you'll see it just keeps going on anyway like you know what i mean make sure that you have to put yourself first and better yourself mm, definitely do you get me definitely man definitely yeah so what what happened with that recall then how long was you back in um Nine months. Ooh, nine that's months a nice recall. 
Yeah, no, but like I said, I expected to be in for even longer. <clears throat> like they, but the funny thing about that case was, once I, it was it was an it was an attempted murder case. Yeah, someone got shot. That was it. This person was saying it was me. Let's think about that. Oh. It wasn't me. Mm. So I was like, huh? This is a lie. I thought I was being set up. Like, you shot yeah. a police officer. This is this, this is it. Mm. This is that comeback. Do you know what I mean? So obviously, I was waiting for cell site and camera evidence and all these sort of things to come through to clear me, innit? Like, which obviously cleared me. Mm. But by that time, you're recalled. This is what everyone's got to understand. Once your probation officer puts in the recall paperwork, she can't really even reverse it. Mm. Like, you're recalled now. You've been caught up in an incident. Whether you're guilty or not guilty in that mm, case, you have to go and sit you've down. got to sit down. And that's mm. what happened with me. So within, I think it was like three days of me being arrested and remanded, like the CCTV or cell site or something like that had came through where it's just like, bam, it went him. But I've been picked out in an ID parade. There were so much things mm. that they that they lodged on mm. to for the CPS to say, charge him. Mm, yeah, forget that. Cuz you got to get for mm. you to get charged, there has to be some sort of strong evidence. Yeah. So if you got to understand this, if you know you didn't do a crime and the evidence is really looking like it's you, you you got your mind's getting mad. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but but what I will say is, I'm not going to sit here and be like, "Oh, no, I can't believe my name got caught up in it." Your your reputation precedes you in it. Mm. You know that that mm-hmm. saying, right? So you're known for doing these things. You're caught up in the mix. You're still in the same area. So if something like that does happen and your name gets caught up, you think you can cry and be like, where me? It's real. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? And mm. that's what I got caught up in. Mm. So I waited for the evidence to come out, whatever. They dis um they what NFA dropped it, whatever. Mm. Mm. NFA, that's it. But I'm still on recall. I'm still sitting there on a the recall. So I had to every day I'm phoning my solicitor, you know, like what's going on? Putting mm. this thing called um I forgot what it's called, but some release thing where you can mm. be released, like no. sec- home secretary can be like, yeah, psh, psh, psh. Mm. but that was air. That was giving me false hope all those nine months. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tomorrow we're gonna fax it through, and they're gonna get mm. nothing. I had to wait for a parole board, then go on the parole board, and the parole kind of wanted to know like, why are you caught up in this mix again? Do you know what I'm saying? So I had to yeah. go through that parole board, have my solicitor. Up on the pro board, not even a scissor, a, a barrister had to come on the pro board to say, like, listen, not on what, regardless of what you lot are saying, he hasn't been charged with any new offence. So he shouldn't be on a record. No matter what you are investigating or what yeah. someone said, he's not got no charges to be here right now. Mm-hmm. So they had to let me go. Mm. Mm-hmm. They had to. So I got the parole. And I said, I haven't been back since then. Alhamdulillah. Mm-hmm. And that good. was 2018. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So this is the longest I've been out, bro, since the first time I ever went in prison. Mm. The longest. And I don't commit crime and, and live that lifestyle again. Do you know what I'm saying? Come on. Well done. Come on. Yeah. Definitely not, not even the petty um, book. Not yeah. camera, off camera, all the <laughs> no, petty. I'm just, just not in it. That's not <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't yeah, make that. sense. Yeah. So anything that I can do and help yeah. for the youth them and that, I will try and do. But sometimes I feel a bit lost. Mm. Like... Like, there's so much things we can do, but I feel lost. I don't know where to start. Do you know what mm, I mean? So mm, I just mm. can talk. I'm someone that I can talk, I can rap, I can put in the music and that. So I try and do it that way. Yeah. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? It's hard to still hear that. You heard him? Lit. Yeah, of course. Mm-hmm. You heard him, busy. Yeah. That's lit, man. It's hard I heard your, um, it was ages ago, but you know your better days. Oh, yeah, better, better place. place. Better sorry, place. Yeah, better place. place. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think you and Nines had the hardest. Mm. But um, I know it's like, even that, I know it's like you're really like opening your bars. Like you said something, I can't remember it exactly, but like you said, I cried. Yeah. Enough tears to. Yeah, to, to fill a. Fill my whole life. I, yeah, yeah. Really, I wrote it down, you know, actually. Ocean. It's you like said, um, in my lifetime, that's what I'm saying. I could flood the world, the world with how many tears I cried in my life. Mm, in and better I just, place. It, it, yeah, and it yeah. just stood it, like that's what stood out to me. Like I thought to myself, this is somebody that's obviously been through a lot of things. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's deeper than that, you know. Mm-mm. So um, yeah, but I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. You know, you've yeah, my music. It all I feel like yeah, I feel like the music was when I first learned how to talk about things. Do you know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. other, other than that, I wouldn't chat. It's mm-hmm. a very, it's a good, my fer- sister, it's therapeutic. Like, it's so therapeutic. Yeah, very, very, yeah, ther- very. therapeutic for me. Yeah. Like, do you know what I'm saying? So 
I yeah, my pain. pain. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's that's, all that's, over that's his, that's his, my um, projects. Project. Like the Ready story. Come out of jail. Yeah. HMP, get me here, my pain. You're on that one? Yeah, come on, fam. Yeah, but on, even bro. that in itself is like, you said you don't know what to do, but that's doing as well, you know? That? Because like, <coughs> life is a journey, not a destination. Mm-hmm. You understand mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So you can't define somebody's life by one part of what they've done. Do you mm-hmm. get what I mean? 100%. Because you have to grow. Wisdom comes with growth and them things. So even that in itself, your whole story, the fact that you can be transparent on your songs, people that, can, that have come from that similar lifestyle can look at even that. Do you understand what I'm mm-hmm, saying? Definitely. And be motivated and inspired through yeah. what you're doing. Do and you get I do, me? man. I see people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I do see people, and they and when they they give you that energy back. Yeah. Mm. Like yo, bro, I see what you're doing, man. Mm-hmm. Like when you bump into when you bump into man like you're up. All right. No, but just what I'm saying. We was having this conversation. Yeah. Right? <laughs> so was, yeah, it's that. Like when you're out there in the streets, you're doing so much. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you're even forgetting what you're doing. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you're doing things. It's such a small world. You're doing things to people you even know that that's your people or that's that one's people or... Do you know what I'm saying? It's just you're, you're doing things, people you might have even went to school with. Mm. It's, it gets that deep. But I used to bump... To this day, I bump into people. Do you know what I mean? People that maybe I don't even want to rub them. And that's the truth. And the energy they give me from the energy I expected is different. And I'm not saying that the energy they give me is because they're scared mm-hmm. or they're intimidated. I'm saying... That they've seen me talking, they've seen the transition, they've seen certain things, and they're like, "Yo, bro, yeah, like man, see your little documentary, yeah. you see this look like man, yeah. get me." Yeah. They just can feel it, like yeah. you. That wasn't even really you, bro. Yeah, do you know what I'm saying? You was just yeah. moving mad. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? And and that makes me even more like check myself. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? Because it's 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 those things are deep for me to see somebody that. When I'm going through a certain stage in my life and I'm not caring how they're feeling or how I'm affecting anybody, mm. do you know what I mean? Or how hot or huge these events were in their life. They might be small to me. Mm-hmm. 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 This is what my man for his weed, man. That was nothing. Damn time you broke to your them, that's leg. Everything like yeah. bro. Yeah. You couldn't even show my face around after the way you looked out of me. Yeah, emasculate. And then now you're looking me in my eyes, telling me you're proud of me. Mm. Melting me. <laughs> Make me wanna cry, bro. I'm looking man in the eyes like, bro. This is different, man. Mm-hmm. This is this is that's the karma. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'd rather you bang with my face, man. Mm-hmm. Fuck that. Just come and see me bang with my face. Cause mm-hmm. the way you just told me that, brother, yo, me and my family sat down and watched your thing, man. Huh? But uh, uh this is what you know what I'm saying. Put it's a, it's, a lot of people don't go through these things in life, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. I'm at that stage now where I'm just transitioning. Yeah. And obviously, of course, it's still a side of me that's fighting mm-hmm. with all I knew. Mm. It's all I, do you know what I'm saying? Mm. Still fighting with it, but people being around people, being able to talk about these things and let out, do you know what I mean? I realise there's a lot of people got it in common. Do you mm. know what I mean? Maybe mm. in a different situations, yeah. but everyone's trying to grow as yeah. well. In yeah. some that's, ways. That's why people. I say yeah. it comes with yeah. the big bro advice. You get yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. He's yeah. a man, when I chat to him, he yeah. levels me off, you know yeah. the ones there like yeah. uh, Definitely. You know, yeah. where man like, no, all right, cool, allow it. Like not yeah. like that, but he levels man off in it. Like mm. a lot of people are lucky. I've got mm. a friend like that. I just mm. like, but sometimes me. you know what I'm saying. I'm I'm uh, I feel like a hypocrite because I might be giving advice that I need for myself. Mm. I might not even. I might say to someone, don't do that. Mm. And then the next day you might see me so do it. Get drawn out. And it's like, I feel like sometimes you don't mm. you don't even want to give a good mm-hmm. advice anymore. Yeah, because you feel know like that sometimes. Do you know what I mean? It's bad. But, that's, but that's you still gotta do yeah. it. But it's, but it's you know like, but you no still one's gotta perfect, gotta you know. Yeah. We're all human dealing with our own thing, innit? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So and especially when you're dealing with certain things like that, you always get thrown testers. Mm. And you Have need you people like this in your life, yeah. you know. Because I'm telling you, there's a stage here, bro. Uh, you probably have gone through this. We build up our, this 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 shield. This way, it's a bit of a shield. Mm. You get me? Mm-hmm. Like where it's like no one can't fuck with me, and I want everyone to know that you can't ever f with me. Even though you know there's someone bigger and better, but mm. you still want to just let the world know you can't yeah. f with me, mm. right? And to mm. the point where people get so scared they don't f with us no more. For real, they stay away from the mess. They even want to tell you the truth. They even want to tell you, bro. Stop doing what you're doing because they're that scared because you've made them be scared <laughs> to tell you. But you need it. You need your bridging to say, bro, mm. 
Don't go back to jail. Stop doing this. Stop doing that. You got what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So this is when I do things like this, it's like I'm letting the shield down a bit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Letting people know, like, bro, tell me if I'm effing up. You tell me, bro. Otherwise, you're not my brother. You can't be. Exactly. Oh, did, I just, did I build up this scary character that much that man couldn't even say to me, brother, what are you doing? That's wrong. Wrong's wrong. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And yeah, man, like... That's a lot. That's a story of my life, bro. Mm. How yeah. do you feel about the music industry? Like, when you got in the industry, how do you feel about it? Like, I feel like, this is what I'm saying, a lot of that, I built up a lot of this you energy. Think, you feel like they accepted like, you? Or? Mm. I feel like, yeah, to a, to a degree. To a, to a degree. Do you know what I mean? But there's, a, there's, a, there's an extent where they know that you don't even want to be around them. So it's not about being accepted. It's like, mm-hmm. they feel like you don't even want to be around them anyway. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, there's been times when I've been invited, come here, come in, I'm like, mm, yeah, no. Mm. Mm. We'll be around them lot and that lot and that lot. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But why? I'm I'm holding my, like, I'm holding myself so back, back from being around bit, people yeah. that i got, there's no issue. <laughs> <laughs> but me, I'm just like, mm, mm, mm. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Antisocial certain it's, times. It's antisocial. Yeah. It's, that's the word for I it nowadays. Do you know what I'm saying? It's antisocial behaviour. Do you know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> I just, bro, I, just, I love who I love, innit? Like, I love who I love. That's that's just how I am. Do you know what I'm saying? And all the shield that man's got up has been for a reason. You know what I mean? And there's so much politics within the industry, if you want to talk about yeah. music and that, yeah. that <laughs> it makes you feel away. way. There's been times when, like, say I've got a bond with a man and he's got, he's had a drum. I don't even know. I don't know what's going on in Northwest mm. or in South because I'm mm. from East. Mm-hmm. Yeah? So you might, I might know you, I might met you in jail and we're tight, we're close, but I might not have known your history. Mm-hmm. You know what makes you, and there's been times when I might have been with one artist and mm-hmm. another artist mm-hmm. and another artist has been pissed off with me. But I don't know I'm in war with them. Mm. I don't even know the politics behind it, you get what I'm saying? Mm. So there's so much of that, even with me. It's people people don't like, that, they, or they might feel like we don't like or they don't like. Mm. And that creates energy within the industry and how we rap, what we say, our own words, bro. Mm. You say it with your own words and then we think to ourselves, no one don't like me. <laughs> Brother, you said to yourself, you said yourself that you're going to rub everyone. Why do you think they don't want to invite you? You said it, your words. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. So I've got to check myself on that stage when it comes down to being accepted in the industry and, you know what I mean? I just feel like I had a shield up a lot of the time. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. And I was very antisocial. Yeah. What are you dealing with now? How is it going? Like? Now, I'm doing a bit of media stuff. Mm. Want to create a show, got Rap of the Day. A show called Rap of the Day. I thought of the idea a few good few years ago and just never really developed. Mm. Mm-hmm. I was kind of still writing a lot of music going to the studio and stuff. So now I'm at that stage where I'm kind of trying to develop that. And, you know, I've got, you know what I mean? My pitney them are grown. Mm-hmm. So trying to, like, show them as well. Yeah. That, the daddy role. Yeah, but to show them that I'm, like, it's it's not just, I'm not just saying that I've changed. That like, I've changed. Changed. Mm-hmm. Like, that lifestyle there is not, there's it, not, it's nothing, it's not, mm-hmm. there's it, no benefit, it do not do nothing for me. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. I can't describe it. I haven't got no beef. Mm. Mm. There's nobody. I can't think of someone right now, or even of, like at all, that I want to do something to. Mm. Mm. And that's also important for me, because if you're looking for <laughs> me, yeah. like I can't think of no one that's looking for me, because <laughs> if you are looking for me, then I hope you find me. Do you get what I'm saying? I want to see you more, <laughs> but I can't think of nobody. <laughs> no, no, but it's true. <laughs> no, 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 So it's on. like, what? Like, I'm not in it. Mm. I'm actually not in it. Mm. I'm not in no mm. beef, no pass out, hey, no nothing. Crap, so there's no, but you know what I'm saying, yeah, yeah, bro? Do you know what I'm saying? So I want my kids, I want everyone to kind of see that as well. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I have to talk it into existence as yeah. myself. Yeah. And sometimes stop thinking. Negative. Yeah, stop thinking about your past and thinking, nah, but I've done this and I've done that. So it's, I, I've got to stay in it. Did you, you know end, did you end up linking the, um, the Fed that you shot? I saw some documentary, I can't remember what it was. Yeah, you see the, sorry, I shot you, it was called. Okay. I done a documentary, yeah. And it was with the, 
restorative justice, you know what that is? What's that? It was a course in, called Victim Awareness mm. that they run in the prisons. And there's a there's a, a next kind of addition to it called restorative justice, victim awareness, where the victims might come into a prison or they might come face to face with their 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 offender. Mm-hmm. Or even like they might have killed their child. Mm. They might do you know what I'm saying? Stuff Madness, like that. Yeah. So mm. I would, while I was doing the course in prison, there was a woman that came in and she was talking and yeah, uh, her daughter got robbed and but she broke down everything that happened after the robbery. The robbery was just the robbery that mm-hmm. like she got robbed. But what happened after? After the she effects of her, it, yeah. She was stressed, she caught cancer, yeah. this thing happened, the sun, like, mm. just, it was just bad things in life that are just, that, yeah. she, she that was always dominant. related that of that event to all yeah. of these things that happened because everything else was cool before that. Mm. So when she was breaking it down, the ripple effect that, you know what I mean, I thought to myself, mm. let me just look a bit more into this. And by the time I come out of prison, like, coincidentally, my cousin was working with a team of cameramen and that that was doing documentaries and mm-hmm. stuff like this. And, and they just spoke on it like, yeah, do you reckon? And I was like, yeah, I'll do that if you could do it. And then they put into motion and it started becoming a reality. So, yeah, I've done the documentary. Big up Nicole. Big up Nicole, mm, yeah, yeah. big up Nicole. Yeah, my cousin Nicole, she is the one. That, and um, Underworld TV, okay. they're the ones that filmed it. So these are good people, man. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And while I was filming this, like, I'm not going to lie and say there was a side to me that just didn't want to film it no more. Like, this is long. Mm. And I apologise to him for nothing. Like, because it's not, per- it wasn't personal. Mm. Mm. But at the same time, I realised that, that the ripple effects that I even caused, the event, how huge the event was in this person's family's life, so, you know what I mean? So when mm. you're saying, like, oh, yeah, boy, them and you got him, that, you got him. But it's not about him. Yeah, you got him. But it's not about him. Yeah, nothing. Mm. We got him. You get what I'm trying to say? It's not about him. It's sometimes it's about the, no, the, <laughs> the, the family. He got, got picnics and all of that. Yeah. So I'm thinking to myself, when, because I, I didn't you never, you never get to see the impact statements. Because now, Mm-mm. yeah, when you have, when you commit a crime and you've got a victim, like, you might have stole, rob, rob the phone or burgled or this or run up on that. There's a victim that has, leaves an impact statement. Mm-hmm. The impact statement is there to make the jury be like, raw. this is what it's caused. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So by the time I'd been out and doing a documentary, like this man had kind of like told a bit more to these restorative justice people that have kind of what mm. has gone on yeah. since, since then. Yeah. And yeah. his wife had passed away and all of that. Mm. Like, I know it wasn't on me, mm. but it's just another thing to be like... Right. To look into yourself. Like, don't think one mind... One did like, it's just you, 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 me, 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 me. My life, I was away from my kids for however many years. Mm. I'm in prison and like... Do you know what I'm saying? And this is, you know, when you go Joe and you mm. give the the little the the um your 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 defense try to say stuff to your the judge before you get mitigation. sentenced. Your mitigation. Oh, mm. he he was he's been had a hard life and all mm-hmm. of that. Yeah, mine mine was along those lines. And I was thinking to myself, this is bullshit though. Do you know what I'm saying? This not give me no excuse for what I was doing. And I've got kids, but so has this person got kids. And this mm. is what the judge said: you're not the only person with kids in this situation. Do you know what I'm saying? That just hit me like, whoa. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, I, bro, I do not regret doing that documentary. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you now. Mm-hmm. Like, that documentary was very important to my transition. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? Whether the police officer come to meet me or not, mm-hmm. I feel like... Why do you think he didn't come to meet you? Because he said himself that he's been looking into my like music career mm. and watching me in it from yeah. afar. And he doesn't think you've changed. I don't feel like I've changed, okay. you get what I'm saying? But I don't feel like my music can just determine, determine that, especially that. not just one song, a few that I was putting out. Mm. You listen to the whole album and maybe you'd hear mm. yeah. that, yo, do you know what I'm saying? Mm. But I couldn't argue with that fact. He's entitled to feel the way he, he feels, but exactly. you get what I'm saying? Everybody's got their, do you know what I mean? But what I do know is that God doesn't use perfect people as his messengers. Do you understand Nobody's what I'm saying? Perfect. They're mm. not like, do you understand what I'm saying? So um, with everything that you said that you're now doing now, like your purpose in life and everything stems around, you know, what you've gone through. Mm, exactly. Do you feel like if you had never gone through those things that you will be doing what you're doing right now? No. So therefore, you know I mean? how could you regret what, 
Do you yeah, understand what I'm saying? It's all for a reason, yeah. If you, exactly. if you look at it in hindsight, you can see how it comes together. Do you understand what yeah, I mean? Exactly. You wouldn't be able I to understand. connect with the people the way you do. Obviously, we're spe- you spoke about the impact it leaves mm-hmm. on the... Vi- we're not talking about, you know, like, you're glad you've done those things, but mm. when you see how life turns out, sometimes you get the answers for why things happen much later on. You know what I mean? Exactly. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And, and that's what I feel like yeah. has been going on in my yeah. life. Yeah. Like every yeah. step is, 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 you find the reason. Yeah. Do you mm. know what I mean? You find yeah. the answer. Like, oh, what? Why was I moving like this? Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? I was moving. Sometimes I've done things and I think so it was a bit too much. You're doing a bit too much. And then you, you get answers and find out that, listen, for instance, this is what I've been talking about lately mm. a lot, is self-harm. Mm. Yeah, you think just people that cut themselves self-harm. Mm. Is that what you think? This is naive, bro. But that's what I used to think. Like, bro, my man's cutting himself. Mm. My man's tried to hang himself. That's not, that self-harm is extreme. Mm. But something that you know is damaging you, that you continue to do, is also self-harm. Mm-hmm. So if you know that eating junk food every day is self-harm, and you still do it, mm, you're fuck. you don't give a mm-hmm. fuck, you're self-harming yourself, you're damaging yourself, smoking, mm-hmm. drinking, all of this stuff, we start committing self-harm to ourselves, bro. And then when I started to look at it from that side, I thought, you know what, I need to just find balance, find mm-hmm. what bad habits that I've caught up with in my life that I can start, which ones Put can go, which ones I'm, 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 have I got the willpower to let go, do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And go around people that help, do you know what I mean? Reshift your stuff if it's making sense. Is that mm-hmm. making sense? Come on, fam. Is that making sense, though? Of course it does. Self harm, man. And, do you know what I mean? A lot of us I'm are about to self-harm do some self-harm more self harm. Self harm. Yeah. Right. But it's real. Mm. It's real. You get mm. me? But at the same yeah. time, it's difficult because. I get you, though. People find these, some things are their relief, their pain relief. Yeah. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So, for me, music. Mm-hmm. At the same time, it's a release, mm. bro. You think I could it's just a go therapy, right? You go vent in the mm. stupid exactly. Isn't it? But at the same time, you think I could just go write an album like HMP and not go through some kind of Shit. depression? Yeah, yeah a couple of uh, man's digging deep, mm-hmm. writing mm-hmm. about stuff that I didn't even thought about. Now I'm writing mm-hmm. it mm-hmm. on paper. I'm thinking, oh, and I'm spitting it, and everyone else has got to hear this. So there's sometimes when I write, while I'm writing the album and I'm going through the process, I'm depressed, I'm not happy, I don't talk to no one, I'm antisocial, leave me alone, because mm-hmm. I'm writing all my life. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? As mm-hmm. soon as I release it and put it out there, you kind of get a bit of a, yeah, yeah. everyone yeah, loves yeah, it, yeah. I'm better. Yeah. But now, that's gone. It's gone, and then you get the come Week, down. Two weeks, everyone's buzzing again. on it, now mm-hmm. it's done. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now you got you want that feeling again. you got to write another album. Mm. Ah, oh, brother, just uh, it's a cycle until you find you find that balance of where you can lift yourself without having to self harm or make yourself depressed or go through these round and round. Do you know what I mean? To get that novelty feeling back. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Am I making mm-hmm. sense? I yeah, don't know. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so what's going on with your music now? What are you dealing with? Got anything coming out? Not really, bro. Like, I've not been recording. I always write. I'm just one of them people, I hear a beat that I like, I'll just, I'll write. Yeah. But mm. I haven't been recording. But, um... What does that I, mean? Do you know what I mean? I get asked sometimes, like, oh, but we're going to get on this track. I man. get asked all do the time. Do you know what I'm saying? So I when get I get asked, music. I don't like, I'm not good at saying no. Do you know what I mean? Especially mm. if it's an artist that maybe I've wanted to work with, innit? So mm. I'm like, ah, oh, bro. Yesterday I said I was done. But you, now you've DM'd me. <laughs> this is a sign. This is a sign. You know what I mean? And I like the beat. Yeah, it's like, oh, I'm back. I'm back, man. So I'm not going to ever say it. It's, but it's, it just can't say I'm done or nothing like that because I like to rap. I just got to find that balance, bro, of, yeah. of, 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 of my age group. I mean, I think Adele said something the other day. You know yeah, what I'm saying about yeah, yeah, making music yeah, for our, are we making making music for, for our people our then? Yeah. For we us to listen to that. Like, someone got to do it. Yeah. So I feel like I can fall into that category a bit, mm. a bit. Mm. You know what I mean? Don't know if there's money in it, <laughs> but there is like you can still do it. <laughs> yeah. It's still fair. You know what I mean? Because you know the kids. It's, still are, therapy. it's the kids that are buying. That <laughs> age group ain't buying, buying, buying. Mm-mm. But there is there is a market there to kind of for man's age group to kind of just 
still rap and uh, told a story, man. It's entertainment as well, man. Yeah, now come Good, on, man. Now go. I, I see. I love it, man. Obviously, now I'm gonna get into that in the current affairs, but boom, man's got the fire around you. Yeah? Just to see where your head's at with it, with this two pack or biggie. Let's see where your head's at. Alright, but it's, it's not just clean cut as you're trying to make two it. Two pack or biggie, clean cut. <laughs> Bro, it's not clean Both? cut. You're gonna say yeah, because because let me tell you, because I can I just say why. Go on. Yeah. Alright, two pack here. Yeah? Mm -hmm. He makes. That music that's forever, ever for me. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I wouldn't say I've listened to timeless Biggie music. any recently. Yeah. But at the same no, time, Biggie's timeless. But at the thing. same time, yeah, Biggie. I feel like I've listened to Biggie more. I feel like I'll know more of Biggie's bars off by heart. So I'm gonna pick two pack for him. Jay Z or Nas? Nas, bro, don't ever do that. <laughs> no, 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 I'm serious. This is a big, serious one here. This one here is why I argue this to the day. Now, nah, George, oh, uh, George the Poet, George the Poet big Nas as well. Jay-Z or Nas, bro. Jay-Z can <laughs> never chat to Nas, bro. Mm -hmm. Mavado or Vibes? Mavado. Mm -hmm. Big up, Mavado. Beyonce or Shanti? Beyonce. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm Shanti. But I, but I would prefer... Be, um, I'm Shanti still. Shanti. Mm -hmm. Jungle or nah. Garage? Jungle or Garage? <sighs> garage. Mm -hmm. Garage. garage or Graham? Graham. Graham, bro. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Garage still. Graham's is like rap a bit. No, garage it's not far Graham. off. Hip hop or R&B? Hip hop. Rap or drill? Rap. rap. Sit there. Coke or Pepsi? Coke. Tango or Fanta? Tango. Tango? Yeah. Loud that for No, but this I'm saying I was dissing Apple Tango. Orange juice. I was dissing Apple Tango. orange juice. Apple juice. <laughs> I love apple juice. That's my favourite drink. BMW, BMW or Merc? BMW. <laughs> Bimmers, yeah? Yeah, but Jeep or, really. Jeep or Coupe? Jeep. Get me, I can't fit in no Coupe like that. <laughs> Turkish or Italian? <laughs> Turkish or Italian? Italian, bro. I love Italian. No, but Turkish, I like Turkish, Turkish or Turkish. But I'm... But I love Indian or Chinese, fam, you can't pick both, bro. Stop, <laughs> just pick one. Stop picking both all the time, bro. Like, stop picking both all the time, fam. Like, the fire that's the other thing you learn about me. No, that's another thing you learn about me. The only thing he's, the only thing, he's, the only thing man's sure about is fucking tango. Like the only thing man's sure no, about no, is tango. No, 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 because I did front arm. This is what I'm saying. I did front But you're putting it like yeah, it's something's it, got a goal. Like it's it's a got shit, a goal, shit. fam. Indian or Chinese? One's got a goal. <sighs> Bro, I'm just tired of Chinese. I'm uh, <laughs> tired of it. Yeah, I'm just like, but Chinese, isn't it? Just Chinese. Yeah, Chinese is dead. Dead. Is that it? No, nah, man. Jalof. <laughs> Jalof or rice and peas. Rice and peas, bro. Come on. Don't ever do that again. <laughs> That's like the Jay-Z and Nas. No, you know what, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Jalof. <laughs> hey, don't mock the two, bro. Hey, you know what, yeah? I swear, yeah? I swear, listen, yeah? No. Nah. See the last episode. Like, I like Jalof's not... not like, nah, no, I picked Jalof, bro. So but just not rice and peas, rice but listen, and peas. I was oh, laughing. Jalof? I picked Jalof. But remember, I'm with Jam and all that, innit? Oh, no, no. With the Ghana man and all that. Remember how I grew up? But listen, yeah? You but you prefer Jalof now still? Jalof, kind of, <laughs> <laughs> No, I just thought, listen, listen, fam. You see the last episode? I've said I've said the same question that Joe's a poet in it. Obviously, he's Ugandan, so he's on Jalof mode. But I've said to her, she's done what you've done, like rice and peas. Mm. God. I do she's, like Jalof, but, no, but you can't. Chat she's, to rice yeah, and she's peas. not gonna but do that. But I'll tell you a that. funny thing. She's growing not up, growing up for me, she's not I don't like do peas, in it. Mm. Not beans. Do My mum used to pick out every last beans or make me white rice. Now we air where you went with rice you know what I'm and saying? peas. But I'm with rice and peas. Mm. I'm not you lot have got me just going with rice and peas now, but boom. I be for a napper. Neither, bro. I've never been to none of them. The bio mobs. But I think napper. Huh? The bio mobs. I've never been to neither of them, but Dubai probably. Inside or outside? Huh? Where you rather? Inside or outside? Oh. Staying in or going out? Inside. Love, I love being in my yard. Own company. Mm -hmm. I yeah, that's it. The gal Not about own company, but gal it's like gal being gal ting, looks or personality? Personality. Looks or personality? Looks, man. Fuck that shit. <laughs> 
Sorry, you good. Sorry, you good. No, but the person sorry, you could pick. But I'm with looks. I'm with looks all the way. I'm with looks. No, we can but sort out the personality. We can sort it out. No, we can pattern. No, we can pattern that. It's too late. It's too late. It's too late. It's too late. Natural surgery. Natural surgery. Natural man. Come on. Surgery. Mm. But at the same time, brother, Look. listen. <laughs> Go on. Bum or breast? Bumper or a bit breast? Of both. That's what I'm saying. That mm. It depends on who it's on. Bro, it's not just clean cut as, yeah, as you're making it. Mm. But I'm going to go with bum. Because you can have no tits and a bum and you still run. Come on. Mm. Six toys or manual? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know no, what no, the two no, are. No, yeah. What's manual? Manual we no sex toys. Yeah, no sex toys. Like, no, none of, no sex toys. No rabbits. No nothing. No, I don't know about none of that. Um. <laughs> but, no, but, but, but let me just say clearly for the gal, I'm not rule out nothing. You know, straight. <laughs> now rule out something though. But boom, money or love? Love, bro. Come on. Mm. Come on, love. Knife or machine? <laughs> <laughs> Neither. IPP. Bro. Boom. Neither. Spinners or Matics. Boom. Neither, IPP. Bro. Neither Boom. that. Neither. No weapons. Nah. No violence. Stay in bro. school. You see me? I'm not a. Uh, mm. uh, 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 nah, you saw uh, jokes. Uh, 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 you saw jokes. Don't worry, man. Conflict there's person. No, there's no, no recall. I hate conflict. There's no I hate, recall. I hate conflict and that. Mm. Even though, like, we've done violent things, mm. it, I, would, I would say it's through. Now, nah, you know what? You're a lovely guy. Hmm? You're a lovely guy. No, come on, you are. Like, do you get what I'm saying? Do you know, do you you know we people, understand man. each other. Do you get what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Like it's not that. Do you get what I'm saying? It's what made man that. Do you get what I'm saying? Man's reacting. But I do know how. Man's reacting to the cars man's I being dealt. I do know how people perceive man, and I do know that that is through no fault but my own. Because man was putting that out there. Mm-mm-mm. You got what I'm saying? So now mm. when we might put out another side, if it doesn't. People that don't take to it connect, as much. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, it comes with it as well. Because mm. people look at you and be like, eh, whatever. Mm. Yeah, yeah, but that's cool because man's still bad, didn't it? Do you know what I mean? And that's what I look at you like, boy. Do you know what I mean? Like face to face. It's just different, isn't it? Mm. But, do you know what I mean? But we've got to push what, what we got to push. Do you know what I mean? What's the um, current affairs? Um, right. <clears throat> yeah, so current affairs. This is going to be funny. <laughs> White Yardy. Oh, white Did yardy. you see what happened Gosh. with the white yardy team? Oh my god! Oh yeah, I see that, but I don't think they should be getting on to him like that, though. What you nah, got to say? Right. I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I, I don't think so, cause blood, he's more yardy than beer. Then, hundred yeah. percent. At first, I was like, "Nah, they're taking a piss. You lot are taking a piss." Mm. Then I really kind of checked out like that the show was called Unapologetic. Yeah. Mm. So and he was gone up there to speak about and culture. You might have kind of played to it. Not, don't quote me like no disrespect, but. He, you know what I mean? Sometimes mm. you might... The internet latches on, innit? So the internet was so disgraced. Oh, my gosh. But I feel like ZZ Mills was letting them like, like, what? Why is my man acting like you never knew that we're going to come on and be firing at you? Re- regardless of what our beliefs are, we're going to... We, this is what the show's about. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? So... But did he say that he was... Like you he was, did he cool. say he was disappointed with how the, sh- the questions that they like asked said, him? Yeah. Or was it the, that the public was saying that? Yeah, no, he just felt like he was. There was a bit there to check whether he was real or not. No, but do you know what it is, yeah? Or whether mm. he's some fake yardy. He felt like it was a bit like that. Do you know what it is? I can if understand. It, but as if well. it was a black man, mm. if it was a black person, you know I was gonna go. I was gonna steal that off you, innit? Is that what you just? I was <laughs> just about to steal it, but go on. No, I but because I said it because she said it to before. me earlier on, but it's so if, true. If that was a black person sitting down and with, it was with, bare a, white with loads of white people asking him like what asking made you him think what you're makes British? you think you're black you're, you're what British makes you think you're mm-hmm. like, that'll be a when madness. did you dis- when did you Mad. wake up and decide that you yeah, was when British when did you wake up and decide you were the British, amount of the racist reverse, yeah, it would have been the 100% times a thousand alright cool that's, that's what I agree with that's I mad. agree that the questions and the subject matters was a bit like that's why are you even going to ask him them idiot questions like do you know what I mean even though there is a percentage of people that may be asking that question. They don't know yeah. white yard. They don't follow. Like this is a different audience, so that's mm. why they're putting it out there. Just she said something about um, 
people are going to ask these stupid questions. So yeah. now yeah, he's yeah, answered yeah, them, yeah. they don't need to ask him. So I kind of got that side. I don't really think her questions was, from what I could see, her, personally, her, person, yeah. her questions personally yeah. was, so, was, was bad. A whole, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mm. The girl beside her, that uh, I can't remember her name, but she is apparently has known Yinka. White Yardy for years. Mm. So I feel like she could have had more of added mm. more context to what she was saying because mm. I think um, ZZ must have made a, a statement saying like to add more context to it like that's what it was about they was going to elaborate on the fact of him being white people might be asking is he really Jamaican you know what I'm saying so they oh. just want the people them to understand you get me mm -hmm. but I feel like even with his name it, it's kind of like you know he says so, white yeah. yardy he don't think he's black he don't think he's, he's black he's literally he said he's white yardy do you mm. get what I'm saying mm. so I don't know but I don't mm. like one guy was on him a bit the guy that was much. sitting beside him that said suck your white <coughs> mum and all that in the, in the, in the DMs yeah the day, 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 day and all that these are certain but I don't even understand why he's moving like that car. he's a comedian isn't he yeah like I just feel like that's be, a bit much you can't just all of a sudden I don't know about that. It was just more they see the questions were they were they were uncomfortable to yeah, watch. Yeah, they was a bit. You know what I mean, mm. and it would be uncomfortable on the other side as well if it was a white people asking. We were going nuts. Be, we be going, we be going mad. nuts. But the individual knew. Did the individual know that you was going on a show for no, that exact? Like we're gonna like, go on. We ain't no, coming like, on you. It's like, yeah. but unapologetic right. kind of says it exactly. See that Mo it's Gilligan like, thing. Mm. See that Mo like Bob Barbados or whatever. It's, it's hot Barbados and all that. That guy, that black oh, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get get the fucking cans. Get the cans. In. <laughs> get the cans. In. See if my man was sitting and it was bare white people saying mm, like, like mm, mm. that's what he does, isn't he? Just yeah, Ali like G black, does though. Yeah. Ali G was no, the first. No, but that's what I'm trying to say. But they're not doing in the in the they're not doing that to. Or not like that would be crazy. I be think like, he answered the questions good though. He yeah, answered. He, 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 he handled it. I think he did, and a lot of those questions was like, brother, what even? What is? What even is the right answer? Yeah, you're, what you're is trying that? to yeah, trap him? Yeah, he's a bit trapped here. Yeah, that's why I thought so. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, you ask some people where they're from. Yeah, and they were born in England. And they'll say Jamaican. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. And no yeah, one, don't, yeah, yeah. no one don't say, ah, oh, yeah, but you was born in England. You're English. Do you mm, get what I'm saying? Mm, 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 mm. But with him, but, we, but but are we English? What do you? What are you English? Definitely, I wasn't born here. Mm -hmm. My thing is carpets. But I feel like we don't. Even, we got identity issues, man. Mm -hmm. That's why I feel like you don't even know what we are, man. Trust. Do you know what I mean? We're man, Jamaican. What should I say? I don't even mm. know what to say on this. Do you know what I'm saying? I don't even know what to answer. This black. I'm a black man. Do you know what I'm saying? So a British. Yeah, I'm born in. I'm a born in Britain. British, I'm born in Britain. Chicks, mate. I'm born in Britain, of course. Deacon, my family live in Britain British. and that, but you know what I mean? The roots. Of Double D could have British. You hear me? No, man. But Double D can blood. You see me? <clears throat> yeah. So that was that on that. And then um, the next thing was Did you see LeBron James uh -uh. on the basketball court? Uh -uh. Oh, I sent it. Oh, uh, no, no, it? but I didn't. Oh, okay, yeah. Well, basically, yeah, they was, they was um, having a match. And he's elbowed some next of uh, some next player called Isaiah, and his eye starts to bleed, mm. and then he starts he tries to fight LeBron mm. James, but literally it just goes crazy on the pitch. Like they're trying to calm him down, he's not calming down. He's pushing LeBron's people. Not coming no, down. the other guy. He's oh, trying yeah. to get to LeBron. He's trying to push everybody down, trying to get to him and everything. Do you know what I mean? Shaquille O'Neal said that the guy didn't do anything wrong. If somebody hits you in your face, like the first re your first reaction is to hit somebody or act like you're going to try to hit them. What do you reckon? Do you reckon he shouldn't have done it or... I don't know. What do you reckon? I don't know the actual incident. But if he was playing a game... Yeah, I feel professional. like... I feel like if you feel like someone has hit you deliberately, <laughs> yeah, you you're going to blank out. Yeah. You know what I mean? And... and that's just it's unfortunate that that's what anger does. It just yeah. makes you blank out. You don't even know what you're doing. And we don't know if there was any backstory to it. Yeah, we don't even know if they, any, were, if they got any little yeah, bit of friction or whatever. You get me? And then he's dead, elbowed him in his in his eye. His eye was like bleeding a lot actually as well. You know. Mm -mm. Yeah, he, I didn't see that. I haven't didn't seen you? That. No. Oh, I thought you lot would have seen that. Uh, Did you lot see the picture that Madonna took? <sighs> Mm -mm. I saw that. <laughs> you didn't send me that. Well, 50 Cent posted it. 50 oh, Cent even posted it. No, you know, like, 50 what? loves the food. I didn't know system. Madonna looked like that, you know. But what's she doing? She, she, she had a bum years. job and that, like, she looks like yeah, she's done yeah, surgery she and like stuff. She's, she's had look, a bum this is job. LeBron, the LeBron team. Yeah, show him. 
Yeah, yeah about... but with the Madonna. Yeah, that's funny. 50 she's cents got, so funny. She's got fishnet tights on, yeah, like a thong on or whatever, and she's taken a picture of her, like with her bum and her legs wide open underneath the bed. She's like, hiding under the she's bed. Getting like, crazy, she's getting crazy, though. She's getting crazy. I swear, Madonna's yeah, like buses, nearly 60. He busts his mouth, though, still. <laughs> Where's LeBron? Oh, he's there, he's there. Can he not see? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but man, he busts his mouth though. You can see why he's going mad. Oh. Look at his eyes. His eyes are bleeding as well. Yeah, they're holding him back though. Can't. No, but it's one of them ones. You know, like you can't really hold man back. You hear me? If man don't want to be held back, still going yeah, for him. That's Ooh. what I'm saying. You know, like if you wanna, <laughs> you wanna start putting some strings. Nah, he's going for my man now. <laughs> the other guy might have said something. Oh, yeah. yeah. Might play it in the background if we yeah. don't get copyright. Yeah. But he busts yeah. his face though. Yeah. But yeah. So Madonna's going mad as well. Yeah, Madonna's going crazy. I don't, nah, she needs to stop taking that them funny. pictures. That, <laughs> 50 don't let cent even 50 cent people like that. that on the internet. You can't, you can't slip. Because he will spin it. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. He was done. like, someone get Madonna off the ground. Did <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was funny. That is funny. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And um, what about Will Smith? And Will Have you not been Jada. hearing? Yeah, talking all of them things about their relationship. Like, he's promoting a book, but fucking hell. It's just too much it's information. Too he's gone, like too, gone far. too far. What's wrong with him? Jada let about let too much kind of stuff out. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then the internet just, just magnifies it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. They magnify every small thing and make it huger than... It would be in a normal situation. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and they <laughs> and was like, him, uh, they was like though, proper it? couple goals as well, innit? <laughs> yeah, but Jada I don't really idolize couples because I always know that there's much more to inside. You know, like yeah, you can't yeah, tell yeah, people's yeah, relationship yeah. by looking at yeah, pictures and they, stuff. There was something, some TikTok guy, him and his girl, like some TikTok guy, Mark, his girl or something. Marked his wife. I see something. Really? That's yeah, what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah. Like, yeah. I bet they was on TikTok acting like they see, was all every like, day, like everything's everything. lovey dovey. You know what I mean? And yeah. then like, you know what? He done her madness all my days. I watched it. He, he like he's on ah uh, like she broke up with him, yeah. Mm-hmm. And then like he's done her madness, like broke into the yard and put put like a um like um a bug on his use on his use computer from yeah. Mm-hmm. And then, like, so he's listening, he's listening, isn't it? Yeah. Then he's heard, he's heard his wife, because remember, they've broken up or whatever, but he's heard his wife sitting down and he's heard her giggling with her next man, yeah? He's breezed down there, Cream, and just burst, he's killed him. Dead, both of them, dead TikTok. But there was... Oh, on, yeah, yeah, yeah. There no, was I haven't t- seen it for the first There was on way, TikTok I've acting like there was all... Something. You know what I mean? Like everything was all good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't Martin. hear about that one. He went mad store. Mm-mm. Went mad store, but yeah, like what you're saying, though. Yeah, like you don't, you, like you don't think in couples, innit? Yeah, because yeah, I just feel like you don't know what people are, what's going on in, and their lifestyle. When the more Jada and Will Smith are revealing about what was going on in their relationship, it just sounds so dysfunctional. Yeah, it does, though. It does. Do you get what it, I'm saying? Will bit... Smith sounds dysfunctional. The type of things that he said he was going through as well. You mm. see, do you know what I mean? Like they're just going mad. You see, like. What's their youth's name? Willow. Willow's Will gone and mad. and Jaden. Willow. Yeah. yeah, they all, they got mad youths. Like, all the, like, did you But I still saying? like Will. Like, I like, like I'm not, not, I still bro. like Will and Jada. Yeah. I don't but like yeah, them. they are like they going into something. They got mad that, blood. They are going into something. They had a weird way of pairing. Feel like a little bit, yeah. <laughs> they're letting it out in weird ways. Ways, yeah. I prefer if it was just in a book. Well, they got that's, weird he, That's what he's doing, though. He's put everything in they a got book. Weird yeah, I, was, I prefer when it's in a book rather than when they can just keep rewinding it and memeing but, it and all these memes <laughs> and, like, they've got him looking like he's crying. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> that you seen, meme, you seen that meme? Have you seen his youth? Yeah, that's when she come out about um, August Alcina, <sighs> innit? Yeah, that one, that's from there. From when the, the August thing come out, that was it for me. I was yeah. like, yeah. yeah but no, he no, said he fell in love much. with... He was. He fell in love with some... One of his co-actors that he was acting on the movie with just wasn't the same. It's See just for the man and for things. the woman, it's just not the same. Mm. Yeah, the way she she was in love, love. Mm. like with August, she broke it down, down, down. You know what I mean? And I watched August's one when he was speaking about it, and then he made the song. He sounded like he was proper, like in listen. It just sounded and then all he made weird. The entanglement but song it and looked the entanglement like Will work. even allowed it to happen, like he had him he in knew, his house. Like ha- that, anyway, that's what I said. Their relationship is next level. Like create, I don't know, yeah, toxic man, yeah, it is. It's a dysfunctional. Next level. They've probably gone through every stage of 
relationships that some of us will never even expect. Yeah. And they got bare yeah. people. Gone through thing. where it's like, <laughs> but yeah, and, and they, they got, got money. Yeah, they're like, just not doing gonna, anything. They're just going mad. Like, like, they're, they're like family, in it. So it's like they're not going to ever well, be I know. apart, regardless with, of what's going with on. With all that pee, yeah. With all that P, my you ain't, ain't, ain't on what they you son. Like. Huh. But yeah, next thing. Yeah. Um, tw- that twelve-year-old girl that got s- stabbed and killed in in um uh, Liverpool. Liverpool. Terrible. Yeah. That's disgusting, man. It's all gone mad. Like, I had yeah. um, four youths. Four youths got nicked or so. In connection with it, I Terrible. don't know. I don't know exactly the ins and outs, but it sounds like she was with her friends and there was some form of argument, and the next thing she was stabbed. But twelve years know. old, and it's a girl. Like, yeah, that's younger than my you. That's 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 terrible. Boy. That's terrible. You, you just speculate to what it could could have been be. You over, don't even do you know yeah. I mean? Like by the time this comes out, quite, it will be out. Well, yeah, it was over, yeah. Because really. mm. it's just happened. Mm. But it's just yeah. That's just what's going on right now in the streets. Mm. You get what I'm saying? They're going mad. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Like a girl got shot in like Hackney. Girl got shot in Tottenham. Girl got, girl got shot in Birmingham. You know what I mean? Mm. Yeah, there is like female but gang just members getting young now. Like, just moving like man. No, well. they're, they're even gang members. Like, no, but there like, is though. I'm just saying that yeah. like, sometimes mm. you hear some things like that. Mm. There's girl out there stabbing and shooting people. Mm. Like, I'm in shock. Mm. But I don't even know. Mm. That's sad. 12 year old to be involved, to be, have your life taken away due to like violence and that. It's, that's crazy. Mm. Isn't it? Mm. Yeah, no, I rap the little girl, man. Yeah, you know it's saying? sad, isn't it? Yeah, man, really sad. I see um, Liam, Liam posted something about it, Ditchfield. He posted something about it, or he sent me something. Yeah, he sent me, he was going live, maybe he was going to talk about it or something. Mm, 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 Do you know what mm, I mean? Mm. That's sad, though, man. But, yeah, and um, Paigey Cakey got her place, got burgled while she was in LA. I saw that, I think I saw yeah. something like that as well. yeah. It's like when you're um, in the public eye, kind of, even when you go away, you know, like it's just so easy for people to target you. I don't, do you know what I mean? It mm. might have just been a random thing, though. Could have well, been. That's what I'm saying, yeah. Whether you're in the public eye out of it, normal, these normal life events happen, innit? Like, they just put it out there. People get burgled every day. Yeah, I've been burgled before. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, no, I've burgled before. <laughs> <laughs> This guy, you know, it was you, it was you, bro. You took her brothers, man. Oh my god! You took, you took baby god, god, You took the brothers. I saw the oh, picture still. God. You took the brothers. Left the gooch. You left the gooch. No, the lad, the lad pages still. <laughs> uh, do you know what I mean? And um, Adele, Adele coming out with an album. She's breaking all kinds of records. You know, like yeah, she'd man. come out with a song, yeah. And this like got nearly two hundred million views yeah. on it all certain, in like weeks. Yeah, because it's them, it's them ballads. Yeah, like she's she and she proper talks about her life as well. Yeah, she do you know does. what I mean? She does yeah. a lot of her songs are really similar? Like I love like, her. When man, I look she's back got a at the video, voice. when I look that back, do you think she could chat to Amy? Yeah. That's, yeah, that's actually one like I Adele or Amy. I think she can. I think she can talk Amy to Amy. Bad though, you know. I didn't say she's better than Amy, no, but no, no, I feel but like she's in that Amy, category. Amy, with Amy was bloody. But trust Amy me, was Amy so Amy was in. Yeah, Amy was thing was mad. Do you know what I mean? Amy, she's a Amy, was, Amy was she heroin. Was a bit more. Amy was heroin, you know. So imagine her. <laughs> Amy was heroin. Butch. But like she, she, she was on cat. drugs, but so her her. Thing is different, but she was in a different mm. type of pain to Adele. Different yeah, pain, yeah, so yeah. she Butch used pain. to be like in pain and Punch, be on life. the floor. Like life. you understand, yeah. she life had pain. addiction. She Adele's was in a love life. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, do you understand yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So it's, different. it's a different yeah. type. It's gonna hit but I would, you in I a, do the frequency Adele. in Amy's real. music is gonna hit a different frequency. It is just because of what she was going through. Do you understand what I'm saying? But I definitely feel like. Adele's a powerhouse. She's got that that thing about her as well. Do you yeah, know what I mean? But yeah. hometown is there has to be like I think my favorite yeah, and for Evans. And yeah, that was the first song she she Adele came out with, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. yeah, I see. Um, that um, Grind Daily was putting up all of the hometowns, the ones, but they left out your ones, bro. Right? Yeah, <laughs> boy, you get left out. Always, but Springs freestyle. That hotel was, was cold still. Oh, they always leave me up. 
to get me, but I feel I like you're they always leave me out. It's because yeah, I posted. It's because I posted at East London. Can't leave about out the RTF. You can't leave out the really the most mixtapes out of the best mixtapes come out. Of if you don't yeah. like somebody, but you know if it's I mean? hard, it's you can fair, yeah, no. you must. You get what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah no, you can't leave that one out. Do you know what it is? It's because remember, yeah, remember when I when I was going mad, I posted that thing in it. What posty doing the East London thing? I don't know. No, I didn't know. Say East London. It's not posty, bro. That's me. Say That's East London. Now I'm saying. It's not petty like that. Pelosi not petty like that, I don't think. Mm. You get me? It's going to mm. be like, bro, like, you see what you're going to understand is, yeah? People do things without someone saying, don't do it. Mm. You might think there's someone saying, don't post Young Spray. Don't. There's not sometimes. Sometimes. I don't even care. They just don't even. They just know not to. Yeah. <laughs> they just try to bread these guys. Yeah. They want to be around whoever mm. they want to be around it, and they feel like that is going to hinder them, right? But I just don't understand how they can leave really their most out of any UK mixtape argument. Uh, and, mm. you know what I mean, mm. regardless if I'm sitting here with you or not, true, they though. can't leave you out of the pioneers for the UK street Bruv, you know what exactly. Uday is listening to I've been through the whole jail system and they've got, exactly. and everyone's got your mixtapes, you got what I'm trying to say? Mm. Mm. Like, some, some real rap. It's not mm. just street rap. I feel like at certain times I want to put you in the gangster category too much. Mm -hmm. And the truth is, brother, you talk a lot of sense mm -hmm. and you've got a lot of substance, you talk a lot of wisdom in your stuff, bro. Mm -hmm. You get me a lot of pain. It, a lot like, of pain. You might say one thing and it's like, brother, that, do you know how deep that is that he said what he said? I'm deep like that, innit? Mm -hmm. That's the sort of music that, that I... Connect with. Connect with mm -hmm. a lot. So I do... Pers I take it personal because I'm a personal fan. My, mm. my brethrens and them are personal fans of the real rap. Mm -hmm. And we take it personal when man see that they try to leave you out mm. of certain things. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? They're but, tender, it? but, there is a but. There is a but. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, not just you. Mm. Exactly. Bear man's getting left out. Yep. Yeah? So you can't take it too personal. Ah, nah, yeah, yeah. or this one or that. Sometimes yeah. it's just not... Pete, there's enough man. No, I, I, I just wanted to say that. Devious mm. gets left. I just wanted to know, remind about the politics video. behind these things. I just wanted mm. to remind but about that video. I didn't even care. Are you leaving him out? Mm. How? Page and that. Huh? Mm. Yeah, Page is hard stuff. Of course, that was hard. PDC was hard. Mm. Yeah, now, nah, come on. Yeah. Yeah, my hometown was hard as well. We got Charlie stuff. Mm. Mm, your hometown was hard. Yeah, man. That's my um, current affairs wrapped up. So this is, what else is going what on? What else? You don't hear anything? Yeah, I see H posted out something about... Um, H just posting out something about, yeah, telling the youths like, not to stab, not to go around stabbing people and all that. Yeah. No, so you should. If you've got influence, it's good yeah, to yeah. give out good messages when you're ready, do you know yeah. what I mean? So mm. why not? Do you get as what I mean? As much as you can as, as well. As much man. as you can, that's big. Well, I see something. I didn't get to watch. I didn't get but to see, but I is? see what... Yeah, do you know on. what it is? I rate that, yeah? Mm. I rate that because that's my guy, yeah? Yeah. But it's like, someone like eight saying that, he's, he's, the people that's actually carrying the knives mm. and looking to stab people ain't going to listen to him. Like, yeah, you know, you yeah, just said a 12-year-old little white girl just got stabbed in Liverpool, so... Do you understand? Mm. No, no, no. He didn't. He didn't even mention. No, but that. I'm just saying yeah, he yeah. can. Can do you know? What no, I mean? no, no. What? No, I'm not saying he can't. I'm just saying, yeah. But this not, is. But wait, not, wait, wait. Can I? Can I finish? Can I land like what them? Chief, <laughs> like what them chiefs? Yeah, got to land. Not like what them chiefs say. Can I got to land on that? Can I land? Can I land? You know, like <laughs> let, me, let me do the chiefy thing. Can I land? Like yeah. some more now, yeah. I'm saying, yeah. I'm not even. I'm saying that's good what he done. Mm. But I'm saying it, it will take someone like Queng Face or someone. Someone like Queen Face or Digga D or someone mm. else to say that mm. for it to proper hit to where it needs to be. It's hit. hard as well. Do you get what I'm saying? To where it needs to go mm. is what I'm saying. Do you get what I'm trying to say? But this is what this that's is like. That's like it's like when man was rapping in it. Like you got people like who's the conscious rappers? They're saying what they're saying, but then you got man still saying what man's saying. So it's like. The, the, you know what I'm saying? So the people are going to listen to the change a the bit. going to listen to man in it, but it still needs mm. to change. Cause this is mm. this is the why this is what I keep, keep I I think about that same subject. That because you've done it, it's better coming from you to saying don't do it. Yeah, <laughs> that's basically what you're saying, right? No, it nah. is. I'm saying it makes sense. You say Digga H ain't really lived Digga that Digga life, D. so they're oh. not gonna believe. No, no, no. It's not they're gonna not not, they're him. not gonna believe him. Yeah. I'm saying it's not gonna reach the people that he needed to reach. Why? Man. Why? Do you get what I'm trying to say? Because he hasn't done it. 
No. I need to know though, but no. just so I can explain he's my not next spitting, spot. He's not spitting about that. He's, they're not listening to him, bro. Okay, because he's not rapping that life there. They're listening okay. to Digga D and all that. But this is the thing. Yeah. They're listening to Quang Face. Like how we just said, like with your story. Yeah, yeah, it's true. If you didn't go through what you went of through, it wouldn't right. have been they're as relatable. You understand what yeah, I'm yeah, saying? They, they, they haven't even seen his story to even see that message. But what yeah. happens to them people, yeah? Or what happens to the people that... That's why you don't pick perfect people as the messengers, as the biggest ones. Do you understand? Like, yeah. I'm trying to say, yeah, yeah. can someone, like, yeah. I Ray H, that's my guy, but can someone step up that's not H, isn't mm. it? That's in that world and do that. Like someone that's crossed the line. Do you get what I'm saying? There's mm. man that's crossed the line. Like, Diggity's crossed the line, he's still doing <laughs> madness. <laughs> yeah. He's still, there's man that's crossed the line, he's made enough pee. Do you get what I'm saying? To push out a different aspect to, or I've, told you something else, but there. <laughs> Mentally, because because I feel like saying? like you just said in it, it's it's your inner tug and pull thing. You know, like when you come out, they your relate. everybody's you journey everybody has their epiphany and their take their time when they're gonna change their life at a different time. So you could be screaming that and then you might feel like you've got people that's that's doing that at the I same time. Like Do you understand what I'm like saying? But this is what I'm doing, I mean? but this is what I'm doing is yeah, I'm putting myself, yeah, into the shoes of the 15, 16, 17, 18 year old yeah. young guy carrying the knife. Mm. Why? Because I've been him. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But that doesn't mean that he's going to listen, that 15 year old's going to listen to me because I've been him before. I can relate to him. Yeah. But we still need the person that didn't do that yeah. to talk. Mm -hmm. We do. Because otherwise, do you know what I mean? We still need the H's to say it. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, like, to make the like, others think about it. No, because they actually. <laughs> Didn't go the route. <laughs> That's why. Because like, brother, I didn't stab no one. Yeah, so, but, oh, teach me how to not stab someone. Yeah, but rather the, than you stab someone, and yeah. now I'm telling you don't stab someone. But I've never stabbed someone. But there's a lot of grey area. Like <laughs> when you areas. said, you see, like when you there's said you big, can't answer. Areas. Remember, the law's black and white, and that is <laughs> what we have a problem with areas. because there's there's reasonings behind why this thing has happened. And a lot of the time, they just deal with what, you know what I mean? Yeah, so they like a, it. a 15-year-old and a 16-year-old, it's good and well you saying don't stab. But if they're walking on the road, yeah, and they're fearing for their life, I know what I'm saying, and yeah, a yeah. situation just happened yeah, yeah, of course. where somebody like stabbed somebody got, around them. Themselves. And there's no way of them getting out of that little thing at that point moment. Mm. The only people that is going to be able to tap into them is either someone that's really close that they respect or somebody that they can relate to that's been in that place. Mm. Do you understand what but I'm I, saying? That's what I was trying to say is, yeah, the guy that was in that situation and that dealt with it right, it yeah. should be the people that we put to the forefront yes. rather than the guy that mm. said, I was in that situation and, yeah, I stabbed someone and that led me to prison. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I'm just talking about yeah, yeah, my yeah, experience. Yeah, Because yeah, yeah. my aunt might come up to me or my uncle or someone might be like, talk to you, your nephew them and your local cousins them mm. car. they're going to listen to you because they know you've been through it. And I'm thinking, no, nah, why me? Mm. Talk to my brother that, that, that dodged it. That when he was in a situation like, yo, brother, yeah, the man went to pass me the gun yeah. and I said no. Mm. But I'm going to tell you that I said yes. So how can I tell you to say no when I said yes? So we need the people that said no to, to talk about how they managed to say no. What strength did you have inside you? Where's your willpower? Because me, Where did you I live? couldn't say no. Mm. Where and did that, you and live? therefore, where did you live? Frankly, Where, what like school that, did you though. go? Like sometimes it's just, that's just like you it know. It is, but from, I'm trying to say to you, you know like I mean? you might have had a brethren that you're rolling with. There, <laughs> you're with him every day of the week, but he still never mm -mm. did mm. what you done. Mm. And it's like him, like, bro, you need to talk. You need to talk. Because mm. I've, I've not fouled, but I fouled. Mm. I, 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 I fell into it. And so these youths that are falling into it, the people that didn't fall into it, you got to help them not fall into it. Mm. Because they do put a lot on us. But that, they, lived that it goes and that. to mind that. But then you still got to go back. Of course. Because some, like, we've interviewed people that have done that. Mm. And when we go back and we talk to them, they had more of a, um, like, you know, like their parents said, they have they, they pushed education or whatever. Sometimes um, something's happened. Do you want to... Not, mm. e not everybody can think the same way because mm. some... Do you want to... Yeah, I do. It's experience you, you, that they're you, running You know with, what it? I mean? Like, you, you, could, you went to school with some people. Some people went home and they went into comfort. Some people went home into stress. Mm. They're going to process things differently and react to things differently. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm. So I do. 
I just feel like you it, see like when it comes to talking to the youth. Like, it can be need. so sticky sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Over there, we're getting. Well, stop this. Yeah, we need everyone. That's yeah. all I'm trying to say. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's all I'm trying to say. Like, don't try and forefront the gang leader to say that say, yeah. oh, because he's done it. Yeah. He shot someone. He's been to prison. Yeah. He should be the one to talk. Sometimes the guy that didn't go to jail, like brother, yeah, I got it this way. This is how I learned. This to guy. Walk away. And he, that man was all riding out. I know how he done, <laughs> done his parole board, you know. I know how my man no, done his parole board. No, no, bro. Know. This is me. Mm-hmm. This is what you get interested. This is my. One job, one job. This is how I think. Mm-hmm. One job. Come on, I know. Mm-hmm. Come on, fam. You know this. Yes. So, this is yeah. thing. Work it out. So, yeah. the, the guy, when we was all loading up the things, getting your shanks mm-hmm. ready, and everyone was leaving, there's 10 of you on the block, and you're going to that block to go and stab or shoot someone. Mm. That guy that didn't come. <laughs> yeah. Let him talk. Talk, bro. <laughs> you gotta tell everyone. You know the tray. Get let me out. Let me out. Yeah, you do. <laughs> yeah. We need the tray. We need mm. the tray. That yeah. guy that said, "Yo, let yeah. me out." Not the one that. Not the one that the never got yeah. out. Not the one that never got away. If you feel yeah. like a coward, or you feel like you didn't ride, yeah. or you didn't yeah. shoot stuff, yeah. you're the guy. Yeah, you are the guy. <laughs> yeah. that I wish I was. Yeah. So you need to talk to talk my up, people man. Like, instead up. of the ones that's like. But you stab someone because that's how I used to look at it as a kid. Mm. You can't tell me nothing when you're there smoking weed, you're there stabbing, shooting, and doing all of that, and then mm. you were telling tell me, me don't not do to it. do it. Yeah, I can't. It's not <laughs> worth doing as much. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And I'm not saying they can't talk. I'm mm. just saying that these other guys have to talk as well. We have to put them to the forefront mm. and give them their flowers because mm. they grew up in the hood. Where we grew up, they went through the exact same things, being chased down by the ops, being having that 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 choice whether to roll out or not roll out, and mm. they chose not to go. Now, mm. I'm not going. I'm not gonna go. I'm going home. Mm. You get me? Man. What was your thought process? Teach the youth them <laughs> sure. to have that thought process. Sure. It's not always short. No, no you've got, got your own mind. You've got your own mind. But this is what I'm saying. That's what we're going to play it down to today. <laughs> oh like, when you're in the streets, that's what it is. You've got mind and you got discernment. My man shook. He didn't come because he was shook, but he's shook. not shook. He's Maybe not. he had a big brother that said to him, but if you go, oh, yeah. scared. I'm going to brock you up if I hear you was there, you know. Frightened. You know no, sometimes that's discernment. It's called that. discernment. Right. Sometimes you know when something's or not for you. they had their mum at home. Do you understand like, what, I'm saying? Cool, exactly. you know what I'm saying? Exactly. Yeah, they had a mum <laughs> that from <laughs> young told you, you don't just follow Who, people. Trey, Trey, Trey was just, what what no, he wasn't. Do. He had a different, no, bro. So Trey he was just frightened. had a different mindset. Trey had his dad. <laughs> Trey knew Trey that frightened. my dad has already dad said to me. So crazy, he, that he had things running in his head. You see what, like, in Boys in the Hood, what was going through, what's Ice Cube? Ice Cube's name in Boys in the Hood. Trey's mental. Dope with him. Yeah. And the other Donnie, oh, boy, what's going boy. through their head? They, yeah. got, they never had their pups there no. saying to them, like, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? Trey had that. Yeah, licking mm. him, flicking so that's him. why he decided to get out of the car. Big up Fish, Lawrence Fishburne. That's why he decided to get out of the car, because he had all these elements, bro. Mm. Mm. This is what I'm saying. That's mm. what that's I'm looking at it from. Mm. Not looking at it from where you're mm. looking at it from, bro. Mm. Yeah, yeah, get with man. it, bro. Yeah, Trey's mental. So with that even being said, like that's why I was saying go back. So it goes back. So it's even not even just people speaking up. Look at the effects of when you have children, the the, the part that you play in their lives. Do you know what I'm that's saying? A, that, that's, that's what that's showing to me as well. It's very Do you understand? Instead of, gonna, do you understand they don't have to be looking mm, outside? Because they're out there and mm. you you get me? just catch them like... Because oh, life is life, you know? Yeah. The, you got my, the world is a bus, wicked yeah. place. Yeah. Bus, yeah. Yeah. The world is a what? wicked place. That's not going to check... Do you understand what I'm yeah. saying? It's not made out for you. Do you get me? Like... So, you know, when you're having children, you're growing men and stuff like that, you need to keep your hands on them and you need to make sure that you're instilling the right things into them. Yeah. Do you get and, what I mean? And if you and you got to understand, even though that's your child, it's your responsibility to speak, how you, to install them, guide them and that. You still might need assistance. Yeah. Like, I don't need assistance from my bro. Sometimes I'm trying to talk to my, my little man, them, Sometimes I might need bro to come and say from a different point of view because mm. he didn't walk that road. Mm-mm-mm. And they might not want to hear from me that might be coming across a bit hypocritical. Mm-mm-mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm-mm-mm. So let me hear from his version. Mm-mm-mm. And I need that. And if I didn't have my bro to do that, I'd be lost. Like, oh my gosh, bro. And do you know what I'm saying? My Mm-mm-mm. pity them are not on what I was on yeah, at yeah. their age. Come on, can't be. You know what I'm saying? And that's what, and I hold those reasons to it because they have got other examples not just mm. one example of a man mm. or a do you know what I'm saying uh, they've got uh, other uh. examples and they will make that choice mm-hmm. do you know what I'm saying oh, that's mm-hmm. main that, subject 
IPP, man wanna shed some light on this thing, blood. Mm. Oh, I think that's a horrible sentence. And if it got abolished, it's been abolished, yeah. When did it get abolished? I think it's got abolished ages ago. I think 2012, yeah. Oh, and, okay. But, but there's still like around Anyone seven, that had 1700. It, had it it. I think there's about 1700 still in jail mm. on that. But obviously, you, that's your, that's the sentence they gave Stanner. Mm-hmm. So it's like, and I really wanted to shed some light on it because I think it's horrible, brother. The more people understand and know what people are going through, because I was even in jail with certain people that's got like no joke blood, like twelve month IPP and all that, and they've done like four bullet. They've already done four years. Mm. Like it's just a mad. I, I didn't understand it. You see the lower the, the IPP. Mm. So if you get a a year's IPP, yeah. It's gonna be really hard for you to do all them courses. To do all the courses within that twelve months, so it's kind of like you're set a up to up. fail a bit. Yeah. yeah, the lower the IPP, the more of a stitch up it is. Mm. You need time to get on the courses to lower your risk because you're being imprisoned for the sake of public protection. Protection. Yeah? yeah. So until they feel like that you are a person that's safe in the public, mm. that can be. Um, dealt with by probation and all the services that are out in the public, mm. they will hold you in prison. You've mm. got to like tick these box, lower your points, all of this, go for all of that. So with me, I knew that was, I knew I had to do certain courses, certain educational courses. You have to tick certain boxes, like steps. So for instance, before we release you, mm. housing, mm-hmm. finance, um, um, behavior stuff, whatever, mm. like anger management and all these sort of things, therapy and that. You have to tick all these boxes and show yeah, that courses. you've done courses that have lowered all these factors. Mm. Do you know what I'm you saying? You had enough time. I had enough time, of course. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So I had six IPP. I done it within eight. It took eight. I couldn't do it within six. Mm. Not enough time. Not enough time. <laughs> like it just because when I got to the six and I went to the parole board. They was just like we had you haven't Done been this. tested outside, mm. so now we got to test you and the little D cat and mm. all of that give you a rope to hang yourself. Do you know what I'm saying? At which I passed, didn't it? So that was the procedure. But there's a lot of people in prison right now, IPP, and Horrible. they might they people were trying to dodge courses and stuff like oh, I don't need this course and probation said you didn't. Do it. But even though probation might tick it off like oh, you don't need to do it, do it's it. still not lowering your points. Still do it. Mm. Mm. Just do it. Get it done. Lower your risk so, to the point where you can come out and be, be a bit free because it's going to matter even when you do get released. Your points are still going to matter whether you go hostel, whether you got a curfew when you get out, whether yeah. you can get, get released to your family home. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's mm. all these things pay um, a pay factor. Apart, yeah. Pay a part. So, mm. like, finance. And if you, you you was a person that went to jail for violence and the violence was surrounded by money, then this all intertwined. So you ain't just got sore at the violence side. You've also got sore at your finances mm. now because they know when you're broke, you get violent. So they both t- entwine. Do you know what I mean? People not adding up all these things. Mm. Mm. No, but I think it's time for them to look into that though, man. Like look into everyone's case separately as well mm. and see where they're at. Do you I get what I'm they, saying? I feel like they do and though. Start, like, and start giving these, these prisoners a release date or at least a parole date or something. Yeah, definitely. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Like, because mm. it's, it's horrible, blood. I see man just in there, no hope. Lost hope. Just in jail, like, you ain't got no release date. But there's other things they don't talk yeah. about other than the IPP. I think there's EPP. EPP and all that's that. what I don't, they I don't even know about to. them. But I heard that that's messing man up. Mm. They can say, nah, we're extending your license. We're extending your sentence. Mm. Like, bro, the they judge gave me four years. Mm. What do you mean you're extending it? <laughs> like, what kind mm. of joke thing is this? Mm. Yeah. Do you know that's what I'm saying? Like the IPP, their new that's, IPP, in it? Yeah. That's like, you know what I'm saying? All of like a sudden, boom, you've got some more now. That's, come on, man. You you can't, like, as any human being, you, we can't function upon not knowing, kind of having mm. some sort of understanding of where we're going. Exactly. Where we're heading. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, so mm. that no just, just that anxiety mm. of, of, of not true. having a release date or not mm. even knowing when. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That must just be, oh. And IPP I, has a lot that comes with it. The so reason like you're in limbo. I saw, I saw like even one of the reasons it got abolished was because of the families. The impact they didn't, they hadn't looked into the impact that the IPP sentence would have on the actual okay. families. Yeah, just mentally, the offenders. Just mentally, yeah. yeah, that they don't even know when yeah. the people are coming out. They don't so. know when you're coming out. Yeah. Even when you do come out, yeah. you don't know how 
you can get released for anything. You can mm. get recalled for anything to the point, even is there was a point in the beginning where someone could make a call on you, innit? Mm. Mm. Like, yeah, spray, done this. That's that. Mm. Recalled. Like, what? Mm. What kind of malicious person could do that? Anyone mm. could do that. Mm. Anyone off this earth mm. can make mm. a complaint against me and you can recall me just on investigation status. That's mm. not... No, nah. that's not... Nah. Yeah, that's a little So now they've done it to where it's like, no, yeah. you've got to go to court and you've yeah. got to get yeah, 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 But yeah. if it's violence, mm. if it's violence... Gone. You're gone. Mm. Could be something like, oh, you just got caught driving on a ban or something. you got to go through the court procedure. You might not even go to jail. Yeah. They, yeah, but you've got a strike on your thing. One more, they will just recall you. But any violence and that, you can just get took off the roads. Do you know what I'm saying? Even if you have a fight and you lose. Do you know what I mean? You can't even afford that. You can't even afford for someone to just attack because that's a, they see it like you're in somehow you're involved in some Full sort of violence. violence and yeah. we're gonna t- and for the public protection, we're gonna put you back in prison where we can want you because. You're still our prisoner. Mm. That license means you're still our prisoner. You're outside, mm. but you're still our prisoner. You're still serving your time. Mm-hmm. That's the fucking thing about it. Like how, like how, like what did that do to you? Like your mental health, bro, mm. and all that. There must be so much people. Yeah. Or was, you, just, was you? Did you? Was you with anybody else on IPP? Yeah. Did that help you? Like yeah, it helps. Do you know what I mean? Like it helps a lot, but. I feel I, I feel like I'm mentally strong, you know what I'm saying? Once I've got my routine and I've got my plan, mm. do you know what I mean? I'm I'm very determined and I'll get it done. Mm. So I feel like I had a strong routine and plan when it came to the IPP, like I said, with the probation officer that I had. Mm. And fortunately, once he wasn't my probation officer, I got a, another good one. Mm. You yeah, get me? Cause... Like, she, she could be my sister, could be my aunt, she's proper. Mm. Like, and I feel like that's been... That's helped me kind of be like, you know, I kind of know how to deal with this thing. Mm. You know what I mean? But there's a lot of men that don't know how to keep their wrists low. They they don't know how to it's hard, man. involve themselves within courses because they're not going to... Like, like I said, that rope you. to hang yourself. That is the, the best way to say it because once you get out, they'll leave you. Don't mm. think they're going to be on you every minute. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? They want you to fuck up. Go on, mm. go on mess mm. up. Mm. You're done. You can't... Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. So you really got to like learn for yourself, do you know what I mean? How you're going to keep yourself free, how you're going to tick all these boxes, finance, accommodation, do you know what I mean? And stay away from anything that's going to get that IPP re-kicked in Mm. or if you are in prison, to keep you in. You know what I mean? Mm. Even things that you might not be doing. Mm. Your security record, so this is... Just to quickly run it in show. <coughs> for me, on my security record in the IPP, this is for IPP prisoners mm. that might be watching the show somehow. Mm. You might have a security record where it says that you might be involved in the mobile phone and drug culture within the prison. Mm. But you might not be. You might not have a phone, never been caught with a phone. They've never nicked you with a phone. They've ne- you've never failed a piss test. But... Just like in on road, is who you're hanging around with, and it's intelligence. Mm. So even within prison, you might not even be able to just be mingling on the landing because they're taking down them notes that like he hangs mm. around with this, and it's yeah, getting put into that. Man. So when you're going for parole and they've got all these files on you and they're saying, oh, uh, and da, 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 it's because of who you're hanging around. So you have got to be careful even in prison. So sometimes mm. it's about to stay in your soul, have a routine. You go in your soul, you go gym, you go work, you go this, you go that. Keep that routine up. Don't mix it. You might be on the yard standing in the corner with the guys that are all burning weed in the corner. You can't afford it as an IPP. Mm. You just can't. So don't mm. be complaining that like, you're not freeing me. Bro, you got to play this thing differently. Mm. Mm. And when you get out, that's it. You got to be under the radar at all times. Because you've fu- you, 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 you put yourself in that position. Mm. And now, do you know what I'm saying? And that's where I'm at. Yeah. Mm. You know yeah. what I mean? It's mm. serious. It's serious for the IPP prisoners, man. Yeah. Like, you really got to, like, change up your 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 um your thought process yeah. and your movements your t- to lower no, your risk and not be a threat and intimidating to the public in I their just, eyes. Yeah, yeah no, nah, with with that how it's been abolished and that man, they need to start releasing them man. Like anyone like a couple years past their tariff, man, lie them man. Made them do them courses on road, fam. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? That's what I would say. 
you know what I'm saying? Mm, like, mm, get mm. them get them into D-Cats earlier. Because they've done their bird, fam. You can't give a man a bird uh, and then start telling me, like, yeah, it's, it's terrible, terrible blood. Uh, Do you get what I'm saying? Terrible. It's horrible, blood. It's terrible. You know? And it's really hard to get on these courses. Some of these courses have you got an 18 month waiting list. Let them do that to on get Tango And the prison not even going to get you. It's the prisons up north. Oh, you man. don't want to go there because yeah. you're not going to see your family. Yeah. It's like, so much, there's so much going on yeah. with this IP. Let them do that on tag, man. EP Free the guys, like man. Come on. Free them up. Free the guys, you get me? Come yeah. on. Yeah, man. So, like, what, what, like, a, how was the parole board? Like, was that fair? Did you find that fair or? Um, well, you can't you really talk on that? Yeah, no, I can. Oh. So, I've had two parole boards. No, no, I've had three. So, the first one I got a knockback for, that was when I was in um, the Vern and I got knocked back because there was little things on my record saying that I might be involved in mobile phone and the weed culture that goes on in the prison, the drug culture. And, do you know what I'm saying? There's no yeah. foul piss this and mobile phone being caught with, but they're still seeing it as, if you can't control yourself to kind of not get caught up in here, mm. then how are you going to not get caught up outside? Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? So it was just an instant no, like you're still getting caught up in the mix, an instant no. So, so when, that's where you started, that's where you learned that lesson. Yeah, that's where I kind of learned that lesson. Do you know what I mean? But at the same time, there was, like I said, I had to be reintegrated into the community anyway. I hadn't done any DCAT, mm. so I knew it was going to be a no. So I got the no. Then the second pro award, I would just say like they're, they're, you have like one independent kind of judge. Mm. So there's three judges on a parole board. You get like one kind of like local community judge, he's an actual judge. And then you get like a next side one and then the next third party person mm. that sits on the board. And they all go through arc skin, you or your barrister mm. or your your probation officer or your personal um, officers questions about if they think you should progress mm. to being released or whatever. Like my probation and everyone was in support of it, mm. but they did say... That he's been away. What for colour someone. were they on the board? White. <coughs> the judges. <coughs> yeah, the, the judges were wet. So the, the, it doesn't really help that you're going in there with a wet on your face and. <sighs> no, I don't think that, bro. They, bro, they see all sorts. Yeah, that's I'm what I'm saying. <laughs> no, but I'm saying that means like, they're looking at that, me like, oh, don't that mean you're in, in, you're involved nothing. in violence? You ain't bad. Don't that you know mean you're involved in violence? violence. Huh? You know what I'm saying, don't that mean you're involved in violence? Yeah, but what? I, don't got, I just don't know about prison. I just don't know about the IPP board. No, the, ju- the, the parole board, the dealing, parole board, how IPP, dealing with you. you get like for the parole board, the parole mm. board. Like, do you know what I mean? It's the same. It's an independent board that's going to mm. look at your time within prison mm. that you've done, mm. right? And, and so, for instance, that's going to come through the wing, the mm. wing you've been on. So you've been on. Say you're on A wing. There's, there's ten officers that so work. So you don't on feel A-wing. like they, you don't feel like they judge you off your appearance. No. That's what I mean. Were they nah. fair? Were they, do you get what I'm saying? Do they don't get look twisted. at you and just don't, think, There's yeah. guys that are there in jail turning think, into monsters in jail. Mm. They get judged. Like, mm. what? You look like... That's what I'm saying, like... You're going to come out and just <laughs> strangle someone. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, what have you been doing in there? You can look at their... Gym. They came in, you came in in 1999. Mm. Yeah? You've been in jail 20 years looking like a beast. There's people like that I feel mm. like, yeah. Don't go with Jib, yeah. No, just tone it down. Yeah. No, just tone it down. Mm. Your beard might be all... Mm. Yeah, all of that. you got to mm. know. It's up to you. Mm. It's up to you how you want to approach it. Mm. Me personally, I'm not an idiot. Yeah. So even if I know appearance, appearance can't really... They're told not to make that a factor. Mm. I'm still going to go in there presentable, maybe try and put my shirt on clean. I was going to go in there with my mm. parole board... All tuggy tuggy. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm, you got to know mm, what you're doing, bro. Mm. But yeah, um, exactly. I feel like they, they, th- my pro board was fair. My pro board so was that fair. That second one, that second but one. But I was on point. Back again. The second one, no, the second one is when you is when I got decat. Yeah, no, the first one I mm. was in the fern. They didn't release me. They gave me decat. Mm. The second one was 18 months later. No, two years later, mm. and I got released. Oh, they released you on the yeah, second one? on the second one. Okay. But I'd been... Um, you got lucky, boy. Yeah, I'd been out. No, I'd been out. 
for 18 months, I'd been going home. I'd been, my, 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 my kids and that had moved to a whole different area. Yeah. My probation was on full support of it. Just I wasn't getting in no mix up yeah. in the jail. Mm. I'd done too many courses. Mm. I'd done the railway course. I had a job waiting for me. Mm. I had a home waiting for me. Mm. I had everything waiting for mm. me. I hadn't had a million, the boxes. a million brethren coming up on visits every mm. two mm. months. Mm. And they're like, right, your brethren, rare, rare, just come mm. up. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Because they look yeah. at that. Mm. Yeah. They look at that. Like, yeah, mm. your brethren and all your brethren. that Still are really coming jail. to link you. Yeah, mm. that wasn't going on like that. Obviously, mm. uh, people come and visit me, but they, no one that's proper, like, it's in the mix popping up on the flag, flagging up and that. Mm. It'd be in that, come visit me and that, man. Suicide and that, man. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Big up Ibs, man. man. Chat to Ibs earlier on, man. Big up Ibs. Yeah, man, come on. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, like, parole board, my second parole board, I got released. Mm. I released. I had a third parole board that went on my recall, it. that's what mm. I was saying. I've had three parole boards. But, yeah, you just got to be on point. You just mm. got to have everything kind of all the questions that you know that they're gonna have concerns for you just gotta kind of have those things ticked off can't go in there and say i don't know where i'm gonna live it's not good enough for Mm. them do you know what i mean they need to know everything they need to know that you've got a plan that i'm gonna live here and i'm gonna work there and and this is how my life's gonna go for the next few months otherwise they're not gonna release you they know you're gonna crumble do you Mm. know what i mean like you have to um how did you feel about Living in a new area, and at first I didn't like it, if I'm honest, like because I didn't know. That like goes. I, that didn't goes have to pattern. It. Just didn't have to pattern nothing, but I just being free, mm. and there was a, a an extent of just walking and no one knowing you. Cause I can't go walking for us even now. I mm. can obviously, but I'm yeah. saying without seeing people like oh, this is mm. all too much of like, that from the shopkeepers. I know you. Mm-hmm. Mm. I know you, do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Since I was a little boy. So it was a bit good just to be able to just walk around and not really see people that stopping you, knowing you, just a bit, yeah, that was good. You know what I mean? My kids, that's where they, they, they grew up, in a different area. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So that was another good thing. But, yeah. you know, my brother, my sisters and that, my family, everyone's still in the ends. Yeah. Because is that, is that, is that what comes with the IPP, like upon release? Is, is that part of what, do they actually... They advise it. They advise it. If you're a gang, if you was a person mm. that was a gang related and your area was what led you mm. to committing an offence, mm-hmm. then yeah. Mm. Do you know what I mean? If it played a factor in your offence, you think he's helped you? Yes, hundred percent. Mm. Not because I feel like the people I was hanging around were a bad influence on me, but I feel like as a whole we were all bad influence on each other. Each other, yeah. You know what I mean? I could talk to my brothers now on the phone. <laughs> we laugh and joke. Make man link up mm. and start acting up. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, what's all this? Mm. We're not like this when we're all on our own. Mm. Why do we get together? We start acting stupid. So it did help for me to not, to even to get banned from the area. Mm. That has <laughs> been a blessing in disguise. Look, you see what's going on with young dolphin, all these people, and that you you die in your hands. <coughs> Trust me. Do you know what I'm trying to say? You so do you think what's more detrimental to the youth, your environment or music? What you what you see. <sighs> You like oh, like yeah. the stuff that you get pumped into you. You know, like st- things that you watch, and you know, like your influences or mm. your actual environment. I feel like your actual environment. So do I. Because, for instance, do you know what I mean? No matter how your heart is, mm. you go into a a, a, a blacksmith place. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm. You come in that smelling of smoke. Come on. You know what I mean? And even if you yourself don't smoke or you're not a blacksmith, you go into a perfume shop. You come out smelling of perfume. You know what I'm saying? So your environment, who you're around, mm. is definitely going to have a huge part... Going to have on, an effect on you, exactly. isn't it? On an effect. Do you know what I mean? Like, hugely. So I feel like for the youths that are in the hood, yeah. every single day, yeah. they need some sort of way to see what else is going, going on out there. Because the yeah. there's so much going on out there. And, like, I know that me, I didn't, I haven't travelled a lot, but... Prison is a bit of travelling, isn't it? Yeah, yeah come, on, right. come on, come on, You get to meet people from all, all sorts, sorts of life. <laughs> different, yeah. Every different character. Yeah. I feel like yeah. I've met every single different character there is. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Yeah. In a human. And, <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? Mm. I'm being yeah, real. No, and it's just been, it's a, it's, it's mm. a good thing. Mm. You, you see those courses, what you said you did as well. Mm. Like some of them sounds like even things that they need to have in school, to be fair. Yeah, they do. You see, like on the course, course when it says... Anger management. Because... You have to, not every person 
parents or whatever are in you don't know what's going on behind closed doors so mm-hmm. i feel like you need to when you're going out into the world those things like housing finance they got everything all the way that you conduct the way that you conduct yourself those courses what you said mm. what they do mm. like which mm. is getting you yeah. prepared to go outside into the pu- we need some of those course th- those subjects in school exactly to yeah. prepare them to you understand so this that is what when they something. leave they they're, not, they're not stressed if you learn <laughs> that them ways there and learn how place. to navigate do you understand exactly. better exactly it's like you wouldn't well, even do you understand what i'm saying yeah but it takes one man to go prison mm. for them to offer exactly you mm. all, all of this of but can i be real as well another thing that this offer this this help is is outside yeah, as, well. as well. You just gotta look, look for it. Mm-hmm. Like I never knew. Mm. You know what I mean? Why you're in I prison? Never wanted you to look. But they was running mm. them courses. That course, <laughs> the course <laughs> that they run in prison, look. started on road before it started in prison. Right. Like, what? Some guy in Holland invented ETS or mm. something. You know what I okay. mean? Like, and then they, they adopt, they adapted it and took it into prisons. But there is things out there help. Do you know what I mean? For people, more help than we actually realise. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. If there's a youth man in the, in the hood right now mm-hmm. and you're sitting there thinking, oh, I don't know what to do. Mm-hmm. You, you look, there's somebody out there right now mm. that'll pull you out of that. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That can help you. There's help for you. you got your knife. You see far and Paul and that. Yeah, yeah. You don't want to stab nobody. He's going to come and he's going to scoop you. He's going to take your knife off you. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's going to take it off the roads. So, mm. and you know what I mean? Mac from Bike Storms. Yeah, yeah, we've had You know what I mean? These here. people, yeah. there's proper respect. Mm. Mm. Yeah, you know what I mean? Mm. These, mm. these people are really out there helping. And before them, mm. there's people out there yeah. trying to help. Whether they're white or black, no matter what colour it is, there's help. Do you mm. know what I mean? But I feel like, yeah, it just does need to be highlighted a bit more. Mm-hmm. And the schools, the teachers, them need to be telling the parents mm-hmm. and... All of that, like take him here. Look, that person here will really help him. What he's in the streets, mm-hmm. uh, could mm-hmm. we, we want to deal with it ourselves. Mm-hmm. Remember, I got a fifteen-year-old and a seventeen-year-old. You know, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. like my boys are big, big. boys, yeah, bro. A big youth, they're bro. strong. They're tough. Do you know what I'm saying? Well, Tim's youth are big youth as well. Yeah, bro. it's not a joke. So mm. it's like a worry in it, naturally, mm. and. I want them to have more help than just me and their mum and someone to turn to. Because sometimes I'm not there. And you're in school and you might need that to know where you can look to. And mm-hmm. you might be looking through the internet. There might be a page that you can follow and just, just look at his page and that guy's going to tell you sentence all the time. Like mm-hmm. like I say, it's good that you've got the fire and pause mm-hmm. and all of that. Because it just gives you yeah, that yeah, thought. That mm-hmm. make, do you know what I mean? It plants that seed in your head to tell you, don't do something. Mm-hmm. It's not right what we're doing. Man, not respecting it no more. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Badness. You're an idiot, fam. Mm. That's how I'm looking mm. at it now. Mm. Your hood is a no-go zone and it's not safe for people to walk yeah, for. Mm. Don't You're not bad because of that. Now, we used to think that was good. Mm. Oh, a man's area, can't go around them area. A man's got it locked. Now, it's like, nah, man. Your area, I respect you more if you've got a safe place. You lot have created a safe place for the kids and everyone to run around and mm. everything's safe. Mm. And that's more gangster that we're mm. looking at now. Now we can't, we're not... It's changed. Yeah, but you got people. It's not cool no more because edge, we know better. When you didn't know better and there's no one telling exactly. you, then it's cool, it's accepted. But now, now, there's so much people telling you that that is a idiot thing. Mm. Why are you doing it? And you're still doing it. So it's mm. like, do you know what I mean? We, we didn't have this, but we didn't have no fire and pool. Mm. Mm. If I had fire and pool. Yeah, we, yeah. Uh, we had to and navigate and that, out of the bikes don't have been on all that, you know? They got different opportunities. They and got stuff. it, man. Like, you, so can't, you ain't got the same excuses. <sighs> like, it's it, different. Don't you can't say... Yeah, you so no. right. I don't you think I would have right. listened to fire and still. I would. I don't think a I would have. A bit. A bit. I was... No, but it would have been there in your head, bro. The seed would have been there. Whether you mm. made, might have, might have you have to think how we were choice. thinking. You exactly. have to think how we were thinking. I am. Do you know what I mean? I am, bro. If these mm. users are still thinking the same mm. way, don't think that they don't yeah. think the but same way. But he means that they're, they're, yeah, yeah, people even just yeah. like him, though. Like, there wasn't those things there. Mm. Mm. There's, there out, no there's more out Remember, there. There wasn't no option. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Not everyone's going to listen. you got to understand, there's always going to be, like, a percentage of people that... Do you know what I mean? It's a balance. Life is balanced. Mm. There's gonna be. There's no good without bad. And do you know what I'm saying? Bro, yeah. even if you, even if you get one one person to listen out of, one. Out of one million, blood, you've we didn't have that. I know I did not have that. That's all I'm saying. Exactly. Not there was one, no other. There was no other one guy to go. Not like to other than up. a family member or something that's telling you what you're doing and fix up or whatever. I couldn't look for a fire and pull to go and hand my knife in or. <laughs> mm. 
That's and guns. I'm seeing man handing in their guns and that. Rebos. Rebos, whatever it is. A man are handing are, are handing in their weapons. Yeah. Mm. And my man's taking them off the streets. And yeah. I wanna see them get destroyed a bit though. <laughs> Cause it come like they end up back on the street somehow through these police police and I, I don't know. But that's yeah, that's what we've been led to believe. That mm. these weapons come through you know what I mean? How did they get on the streets in the first place? Exactly. There's mm-hmm. a lot of high. We've we've spoke about all of that as well. Like, yeah, you have. Yeah, you yeah, speak you about you know like where the people in yeah, it, but you know well, like there's it? yeah there's a people like the ones. How did they get here? Do you understand what I mean? So, mm. you know, IPP you know is fuck it all. Just yeah, fuck that off. IPP yeah. that needs to be yeah. They need to yeah. free the guys. Yeah. Times. 20 million. They need to take the yep. people that are even totally. are still on IPP. Yep. If it's abolished, then it's abolished for everyone. Exactly. Like mm. me included, I shouldn't be a still an, a still considered yeah, as even an IPP the, person yeah. if it's been abolished. If, if no one new today can get that sentence. Mm. Mm. So why is the, anyone old still on that sentence. hanging on a law that you've already demolished? Demolished because it's inconsistencies. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it can't be working for even the people like me. Yeah, anyone on it needs to be looking into it. It's madness, you got the um dilemma. The, the dilemma he told me about. They asked you about. Oh yeah, yes. what am I talking about? So um, dear RTM podcast, um. I work in the care system. I've been working in the care system for over seven years. And I've recently been told that I am going to have to get the vaccination or my job can be in jeopardy. I'm getting older and I don't know how to go to look for any other type of jobs. And I've got bills to pay and I don't know what to do because I don't agree with getting the vaccination. Um... I don't know what to do. Please help me. That's fucking. And that's the kind of things they're doing. Mm. Because it's mad, because it's like, it's a dilemma still, but obviously, it's down to her. It's her choice, isn't it? Ultimately. But me, personally, just because of how I am, yeah? Like, how I deal with life. If they was to give me the ultimatum, then I'd just quit the job. Mm. Because I just think, are you trying to force that on me? You get what I'm trying to say? But obviously, I'm not in her position like she says she needs it. <coughs> to people need their job. People worked and studied <coughs> for years. But that's very, their, that's unfair. Do you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Mm. And, but the, the thing is, when you're in working as a, doing a government deemed what they regard, regard as a service job like that, then they feel like they've got that right over you. Do you know what I'm saying? Where they can say, where you, it's compulsory for you to take the vaccine because mm. you're dealing with the public and people. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. Mm. That's what I feel like they, they, with people like my sister works in care. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't advise people, I me mean myself, I'm not for the vaccination or nothing like that mm. at all. Mm. But if you're like a person that works in a hospital, you can definitely expect them to expect you to have it. Because if you're in a hospital, if you're a nurse and you're not taking it, then what the hell should anyone else? You're the doctor. You're mm. the one that's telling me to take it because it's good for you and this is going to save me. So it's like, it doesn't look good. If I'm the head of all the doctors and I'm mm. saying all the doctors take it and one of my doctors don't want to take it, it doesn't look good on what I'm trying to represent here. Mm. Do you know yeah. what I mean? So... You have to quit your job still. Yeah, it's yeah. just it's, it's a pretty clean cut on that one. Yeah. Then. Do you know what I'm it's saying? It's a moral issue. Yeah, you're, you are risk. You're 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 misinterpreting the message that your workplace, what you're working for, is trying to even represent a bit. Do you know what I mean? Mm. For the nurses, by the way. I feel safe Not for, for the um. She's yeah. She said the care system. So, but I, I feel safe for the people in the care system anyway because of what's going on. Because a lot of them like ain't getting looked after because the lack of people there to help them out at the moment, yeah? With the vaccination, I find that it's hard. For, it's How can you force something on somebody that's number one, a trial till 2023? It's actually mm. it's actually a trial. It's a trial. 
Mm. Yeah. It's true. And um, so therefore we don't even know like the effects of it properly or anything. And you're forcing people that are meant to be looking after us to take it. Mm. And if anything goes wrong with them, then what's going to happen? Yeah, it's true. Who's going to look after us? Who's going to look are after scared, us? Do you know what I mean? We're uh, scared. Apparently, yeah, the paperwork for the vaccination and stuff, yeah, they've um, asked the judge for the pa- all of, like the full start knowledge of it not to be open till two thousand and seventy five. So that's like after long after we're all gone. That's Do you right. understand what I'm saying? There's a lot of inconsistencies with the vaccination, and I feel like if it's some, if it's just a trial for people's jobs to be at risk over a trial. I don't think that's good enough. Mm, it's not. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, but I think even give, people that take the vaccine won't mm. really support of that either. They'll be like, nah, the only nah. advice I could give because it's like you saying um, you don't know how to look for another job, or you're gonna have to. In another sector, I think yeah, she most yeah, probably is yeah, talking that, that about. Either you're gonna have yeah. to, or just take it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Type of thing. Mm, yeah. You're just going to have to swallow it and just take it. It's like what you said, like you're working you for You can these fight people. it though. You do have the right to fight that. Like I feel like there's human rights to say that you don't have to take it. No, but that. They're, what but they're, they're trying to do is they're trying to tell you you, you don't have to. They're trying to tell you you don't have to. Just quit your job. They're trying to tell you you don't have to. But that's low-key forcing mm. it on people though. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, mind games. You don't have games. to. It's like, it's like they're telling us, oh, you ain't got to take it, but if you don't take it, if you if you don't take it, you can't go to restaurants, you can't yeah, go yeah, clubbing, yeah, 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 yeah. you can't go this, you can't anything yeah. what people might think is fun, you can't have no fun. You can't mm. fly out mm. if you ain't got like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, you can't. You don't need to take it. It's up to you. You can stay in, in um, Wolfram's Hall. You mm. can stay in Brixton or wherever. You don't need to take it. But if you if you want to go here, there, and everywhere, and this move. is the thing. But this is the thing, I mean? and this is so, what I've, I feel like. Look, that's a, some these some of these things. But it's a person like in the country that we live in, or the way things are run. Some things you just got to wear. You got to accept. It's a personal decision. Or just, yeah, or you just make the choice. Not a, to that's do what it. I'm saying. It's your personal decision. Like, if it's if harsh, it's something though. high, it, up I think in your moral. it is pretty harsh. Though I didn't see I didn't see times like this kind of coming. No, mm. do you know no, what I mean? No. Yeah, you got what I'm saying? Like I said, I've got family that are in these sort of work jobs. Do you know what I mean? Mm, My sister, mm, she's mm, a social mm, worker. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. She has to like do stuff like home visits and that. And I feel yeah, like a lot of that was that, going yeah. on during when the first lockdowns was happening, that a lot of people wasn't really comfortable mm. coming into contact with people that might have COVID or mm. having to take a vaccination. Yeah, they made that. it they Not made it scary sister, times. I'm saying. Now they made it scary times, even for especially for the old people. Especially if you're like a vulnerable like you've got like low immune or something like that. Do you get yeah, what I mean? They're the most scared You're people def- right now. Exactly. Like the older people, they because they're not gonna want to come into anybody. Them. That's you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I still see the old people going around with face masks. Yeah. Like you know, like mm. just, that's it now. They're just wearing face masks for the rest of their life. Yeah, it's yeah. mad. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's true though. Mad. I think this back. Like, it's compulsory now to wear it again. No, it's, it's not compulsory. It? It's not. Mama just gave a speech yesterday, didn't he? I don't know. Oh, I, ain't, I ain't listening to it. Face masks are coming back. You're going mad for Oh, me. my gosh. Nah, but I just know them old people, I've Think not, like, they got it everywhere. Like, you see them, like, on the train, boom, they still got it. You know what I'm saying? They're not, they're not ramping. But remember, they just watch telly and listen news and stuff, you know? But no. Nah, Most the of them. Advice, and they know they can't afford to catch up. What call. advice are we giving this person? Because, yeah. to me, it's just a personal issue and it's up to you, but... It's either you take it and continue your job or whatever, or look for another job. Do you know what I mean? I think there is, like, I don't think, like, quit your job so soon, though. Mm-hmm. Like, just, do you know what I mean? Don't take it. If you if that's, if that's you're not sure about the vaccine and if you want to take it, don't take it just for the sake of the job because, look, there's many other jobs out there and your life is precious, so you don't go risk your life if you're not comfortable do you know what I mean? Mm. You'll find another job. Yeah, that's I what agree I mean. with but that. You'll find another you. Mm. I agree with that. Kill you. So I agree with that. You're gonna have to make that choice to say, look, I'm gonna go and find another job. Yeah. Mm. Doing I, the same thing. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Maybe. I'm not gonna add to that. I agree with what you just said there. Mm. Yeah, I reckon mm. that as well. Yeah, because yeah. they will. They, do you know what I mean? It's, it's they shouldn't be able to force people to take something mm-hmm. in their body that they don't want to. Yeah, that's crazy. Crazy, isn't it? Mm. Do you know what I mean? But that's what's going on out here. Mm. But we've got to look at both arguments, innit? 
Because the argument yeah, of yeah. people that don't want to be nursed by people without or, it. that without it, mm-hmm. that have took the vaccines, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. that's the, it's the, the, the the division they've created. Every episode, I give them a book to go and read, yeah? A book suggested. I might even change this book suggested to car cut. It's, well, every time getting a book, getting a book. But anyway, good, it, might change, to a, it might change the book suggestions, sh- sh- slash song suggestion, slash movie suggestions. Uh, just a suggestion. Yeah, yeah. But, <laughs> do you get what I'm saying? It might just turn to suggestion time. Just suggestion time, but it's still the book suggestion for now. Yeah. Got this from um, Sibia. You got Sibia as well. Man got this as well. I wasn't even going to promote it. I told him to give me money, but <laughs> you know when your bridge is just, just taste it, just taste it. If you like it, then just, yeah, but yeah, Chris. Bees. I told him it's a bit small. Mm. Do you know what I mean? I said it's £2.50 each or something. But you know what? Exactly. It's nice though. Gonna have to it's nice yeah. still. What do you think of it, Stella? Yeah. Promote his thing, man. Big him it's up. nice, man. But you have, to pay. you have to pay for the promo, brother, <laughs> next time, car. No, serious. Mm. And a free business. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're getting views. Sorry, and Ginger. <laughs> They're going to see it. They're going to see it. <laughs> Sorry, and Ginger, but. <laughs> <laughs> this one here. This book, but she gave me some books as well. Mm. It's on top. This is the Reggie Stepper story. Mm-hmm. Reggie um, is my um, brother's cousin still. Okay. But um, yeah, he's wrote a book. He says, Guns followed me ever since my dad made me a boy soldier. Drugs soothed the pain of my mum's untimely death and murder is ingrained in the fabric of the London outsiders don't see. It's on top, the Reggie Stepper story. It's my true life account of a sex fueled, drug induced, Leighton Stone, L Stone done. Here to tell you going to jail is definitely not glamorous, and getting shot is not like you see it in the movies. You might just piss your pants like I did. Yeah, Reggie's going, going mad. Reggie went jars in jail with Reggie still. You get me for a machine, but what even this machine, the madman? It's on mm. top. But yeah, it's on top. Make sure you mm-hmm. go read that. Support the thing. That's a man from the odd. My Bridget. You got yeah. Reggie. Gusty's cousin still. Oh, okay. But yeah, um, thanks for coming to you, man. No, bro. Uh, yeah, thanks that, for being transparent. Yeah. And you know what, yeah? I was always going to come. No, but, no, but come on. No, but come. you know what, yeah? I know I've been jokey. You know me. I'm just a yeah. bit of a joker. You get what I'm saying? But I just knew, innit? Yeah. My man's going to come and he's going to Say what needs to be said, and Definitely. you know what I'm saying. And thanks for that car. It's good. They need to see. I know you think, yeah, they need H and everyone. H, we got H as well, yeah. We yeah. got everyone, yeah. That's my guy. But I feel like they need you as well. People like you, people like me. They need us as well mm. to be sitting here mm-hmm. and just talking and boom, boom, you know, making they them do know. Because they can making see them if you know. can do it, then yes, we can do it. It's believable, then. Yes, bro. I, I hear you. you know what I'm bro. saying? It's because important. so I thank you for that. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Because, and please, bruv, don't stop the music. Do you know what I mean? Because mm. I think it's good therapy. Mm-hmm. Even though I've stopped, I need to get back in as well. But yeah, and I think you're better than a lot of these guys out there. And, um, you know what I mean? Spit that real rap. Do you get what I'm saying? That real pain, check out, hear my pain. Mm-hmm. Check out, just YouTube the guy. Yeah. <laughs> Do you get yeah, what I'm exactly. saying? exactly. Follow the Queen. Queen Ice Cream. Ice Cream the Poster Girl on Instagram. Queen Ice Cream TV on YouTube and Poster Girl Lashes. Follow me at... I'm going mad, you know. I forgot, <laughs> I forgot to give you a little... Yeah. To your, to your bloody sold out the chat yeah, suit, isn't it? But Big as up. we're talking about bloody face masks, you say come into Com- Compass, yeah. so you got your face mask and your woolly hat. You get what I'm saying? Love, the RTM clothing. Follow me at big underscore bad underscore spray mm-hmm. on Instagram at young underscore spray on Twitter because I, I put some good quotes out there and all that. Now I'm, like, I'm on there acting. You get me? So I push that positive shit. But yeah, follow my brother. Stanagram, Stana underscore gram. You get me? He's got to accept you though, because his thing's private. You get me? He's, he's anti social even on. No, I'm not. I'm not anti-social. He's anti social <laughs> on the social media, so. But he'll accept you, you get me? Just make sure you make him know our team podcast, yeah. so boom. My <laughs> guy. Yeah, no, come on. Oh, yeah, yeah. Man. Come Thanks on. for coming, man. Thank you. Really the most. Mm-hmm.